long to learn about the system world and uh, stuff like that. We'll be explaining it as we go along so you guys in chat can learn alongside of us um, and figure out what's going on. So let's start with uh, the man of a plan, Gareth. Um, so Gareth, tell us, who will you be playing today, sir? Uh, I'm going to be playing an engineer called Scott. Uh, he is uh, a pretty much a nerd archetype. Uh, mm -hmm. He knows more about computers and robotics than he knows about anything else. Uh, he does lots of experiments in his free time, and he accidentally dyed himself blue. His entire skin is blue <laughs> for some form of experiment that went badly wrong. Uh, dear Lord. He dear also Lord. built himself a robot girlfriend, but we won't speak about that yet. No, not yet, not yet. Um, the robo... Is she blue as well? Do I dare ask? No, don't be racist. Oh, sorry, dude. <laughs> I thought, I thought all you blue people would know each other. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> all right, cool. Um, so let's also give Askren a bit of time to think about his character. So, uh, so Askren, who will you be playing today, sir? Uh, am I muted? Just no, no, muted. you sound crystal clear. Oh, good. Uh, I am playing Demero, the uh, the the space merchant. He's, you know, he he runs the he runs the ship. He does he handles the trading. Sometimes when you pull into a port. You gotta sweet talk the aliens. They're not like us, so you gotta talk real slow so they understand. Uh, also, right. alien women. He has a thing for alien women. And just any alien women, or just? I mean, I'm, I don't want to be speciesist, but the the green ones are his favorite. Well, sorry, Gareth, uh, you missed out there. Wrong, wrong shade, my friend. Wrong shade. And remind me of his name again, Askren. Demro. D-E-M-E-R-E-L Demerol, okay cool, and Gareth, your character's name one more time? Scott Scotty, gotcha Is he also Scottish? <laughs> no, Oh. he's just blue Just blue <laughs> Basically the same thing he's, he's a bluesian He's a bluesian, okay, I like it, I like it. Okay, so uh, Flaming Killer, tell us, who will you be playing today, sir? Hello, I will be playing a combat medic uh, named Averick, and she is part cybernetic, part biological. Um, so her, she had an unfortunate accident. She lost the left arm. She lost her head in oh, some freak accident. She <laughs> somehow survived. Her head, her brain survived, still attached, wow. but is being replaced with now this cybernetic implant. So she's now just got um, a metallic head with camera so that she can see all around um, a cybernetic left arm. And she also lost um, one of her legs, which is also cybernetic. Wow. Wow. So she, not, much, not much left. There's, there's not much left of her, no. Gotcha. But she is the healer of the group. All right, so you're playing the medic. Um, I am playing on, the medic. Okay, cool. And remind me of her name one more time. Uh, Averick. 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 Okay. I'll put in Zoom chat. Perfect, perfect. Averick there. And we've got Lee joining us in a little bit. Uh, but we have a Baylor from the B and D B and B tavern, not the D and D tavern. Uh, how are you doing, my friend? I'm doing just dandy. How are you? Yeah, yeah, we're doing good. We're doing good. So I know you haven't had too long to think about your character today, but uh, who would you like to uh, be playing today? I guess I will be a soldier. It was suggested by the good man of, of the good man of what is, the awesome beard, Gareth. <laughs> Gareth, right? Probably whatever you like. Will does. <laughs> the I guy was with... to think of like a clever, like a clever adjective. Going like he has such a godly yeah. beard. I wanted to describe that in the best uh, way possible. All of the words I use just God. Um... God would be fine. I'm I'm fine with God. All the ones all that right, I fair use. Enough. Are... He is he is God. Understood. I usually use four letter adjectives when describing uh, Gareth, but yeah. Like like cool. Uh, it certainly begins with a C, Gareth. It certainly begins with it a C. It does begin with a C. <laughs> I will I will it use that with two. possibly with a T. <laughs> so who do you want to play? I guess I will be a soldier, hmm. as suggested by me. Yeah, what's your what's your name? Um I will be Blankton. Blankton. Okay. That sounds interesting. Tell us a little bit about Blankton. Uh, is he a, is he a good guy? Is he not so good? Um... No, nah, he's a he's a swell guy. He's yeah. just a guy that likes to. He basically the reason why he's called a uh, uh, Blankton is uh, because he uh, he sort of draws a blank as to what to do with uh, things. So he usually just finds a good group to go on adventures with and just 
Uh, uh, he draws a blank with names, but that's about it. That makes sense. That makes sense. <laughs> okay. So, um, the mercenary with with some personality, but not enough to to be a main character in a Star Trek movie. He would probably be one of the second people to die. Right. Yeah. Okay. No, that makes sense. That. Well, I, that. Yeah. Okay. Got it. Second to die. I will write that down and <laughs> right under Gareth. Okay. Cool. So. Uh, <laughs> so uh, what are we doing today? Uh, is a question I all hear you crying. Well, today we're playing Star Ascension, which is a game on Kickstarter, which you can find here. In the chat, we suggest you go and check it out. It's a pretty cool game. We played it uh, two, three months ago. We had a lot of fun. We played it like a day after a 24-hour stream, uh, which was tells you something. If we can have fun hours after a 24-hour stream uh, playing a game, then it's probably quite good. Um, and it was it was quite a blast. So go check it out. Uh, it's kind of Firefly, Star Trek-inspired sci-fi game. Uh, a lot of great rules if you're into the nitty-gritty of uh, gunplay and uh, a lot of opportunity for roleplay if you're into that stuff. I think we'll be doing this adventure is uh, which is called Dark Diplomacy, uh, written by the, uh, the creator, Stuart, uh, is roleplay focused for the most part, uh, and there will be some combat so we can show off the combat mechanics to you guys, and we do have some uh, wonderful maps to show you guys as well. So, um, yeah, I think we're about ready to get started. Only other thing, though, is if you guys haven't tweeted, hit that retweet button, and when we hit 20 retweets, you guys get to decide what happens next in our adventure, uh, and that will help uh, to spread the good word of Star Ascension across the multiverse and uh, let it ascend to the greater levels of Kickstarter success that we're hoping uh, for it to have. Um, also, if you haven't followed yet, hit that follow button and join us when we hit 20 retweets, uh, sorry, 20 followers. Uh, we're only like eight followers away from that. You guys get a viewer decision where you get to decide anything which happens in our game. Another PDF to add to the collection. Indeed, yeah, I'm, I'm going to pledge by the end of the day. Someone remind me to do that. Um, what else? Uh, also, you should check out our Patreon. A bunch of ways to support the channel. Keep doing what we're doing and uh, more shows, including corset-based shows and D20 dating will be returning. Uh, other than that, though, let's dive into the action of Star Ascension. So, um, to preface this adventure, um, let me give you guys a little bit of backstory uh, on where we're beginning today. So, the advent of the hypergrowth cloning in the late 23rd century reignited the debate over the ethics of human cloning across known space. Unlike normal clones, hypergrowth clones have an accelerated growth rate to achieve a desired age much more quickly. This effectively reduces the lifespan of most hypergrowth clones. The cloning of humans is outlawed in most of the Earth system's uh, hege hege hegemony? Hegemony? How do you say Hegem that word? Hegemony? Hegemony. Hegemony, okay. I've heard it said like three different ways by uh, tutors. Uh, Literally the most British word. Ah, I guess. Maybe it is. Um, however, there are many corporate and independent worlds outside. Dark Diplomacy is an adventure revolving around... Okay, well, woof. well I don't want to read that to you guys. Whoa. Nearly spoiled the whole thing! Um, yeah, it's just the, the text in the box that you read. Well, that, mm. that's how you know. Yeah. It's all in the box. It's all in the oh, box, Gareth. It's all in one place. It's crammed in that box. All, I just, I just shoved it right into one dirty box. Okay, so, um, <laughs> yeah. So, uh, yeah, you guys are working for the Interstellar Commerce Guild, the ICG, and um, you're running goods for the Epsilon Eridani system, and you're currently docked aboard your ship uh, while outside Talbot Station above Komarov. So, um, you guys have just sealed a deal. Uh, to transport cargo from Talbot Station above the planet of Kam Kamarov uh, to the planet Tabitha, both in the same star system. Uh, so, Talbot Station is a massive space station the size of a small city, housing around 3,000 people. Uh, you guys, currently, as we begin our adventure, are now shopping for equipment on the station. So, if you guys are interested in buying equipment and stuff, this is why you, you've come here, before you set out on your journey. So, you've got a, uh, a perfect kind of opportunity to gear up for adventure uh, before you head off onto your um, 
trade route, basically. So what I want to hear is what each of your guys' role is uh, aboard the ship. Are you guys like a captain of the ship? Are you just like a, a deckhand, an engineer, um, a technician? Who knows? Um, so you guys go around and just decide what you guys' uh, kind of role is on the ship. So let's start with uh, Averick. What is Averick's role? The bizarre female robo person's role aboard the ship. <laughs> well, and don't being, say she runs uh, a brothel. <laughs> Sorry? Don't say she runs a brothel. She does not run a brothel, unfortunately. Right. Gareth, you're um, still clear for that one, okay, mate? Yeah. I'm sorry, Gareth. <laughs> um, no, she runs. She is part engineer, part, you know, being the medic, and the only medic available, the doctor. And she right. does a lot of hands-on surgery involving um Stores and other cutting implements, so try wow. not to get yourselves hurt. Gotcha, gotcha. She, I, is she kind of like a bit over enthusiastic when it comes yeah. to things? Yeah, every, every medical procedure involves an amputation. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, it's like not, not quite every. My two not quite cut off the head. Through your arm to get to your but, leg. <laughs> yeah, m most of them involve um, most of them involve amputations of some form. Yeah. Um, and occasionally she might accidentally get mixed up and try rewiring you when she was meant to be working on the engine system. Right. right. Um, you know, the, the system, the integration system of her brain to her robotics isn't fully there. Operational. Gotcha. Yeah. Makes sense. It's not All fully right. operational. Yeah. Okay. That's what Avrik does. What does Demerol do uh, on your ship? So uh, we, have, we have a medic. We have a... Uh, um, I totally forgot what everyone else is. Uh, soldier somewhere. Yeah, soldier, me. engineer. Yeah. Engineer. Tinker. Tailor, I, spy. So spy. I, yeah. I don't. This. I will leave you. I will leave this up to you guys. But being being the merchant, I kind of. I kind of feel like we we are we are, are we a little bit of a merchant ship. Yeah. Yeah. You guys are traders. Yeah. 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 So I think I. I. This is entirely up to you guys. I think the Demeral being the merchant might. Probably might be the probably not like the the Captain Kirk style captain, but he might be like the <laughs> probably <captain>. not. Okay. <laughs> so you okay? So you're like a yeah. All right. The captain. He's, he's a guy who he's a guy who like who uh, tells us where the next job is. Like yeah. tells you where the next job is, but he doesn't really ever give orders directly. He just kind of yeah. Gotcha. Yeah. He's the owner of the ship. And thus, in charge and in command. Something like that, yeah. But well, in reality, he doesn't really do much commanding. He no. Just, there's a job here. He's also so. very, very lazy. If he, yeah. So that's, yeah. yeah. That, that makes sense. Okay, perfect. Uh, what does Blankton uh, do on the ship? Is it a hired muscle kind of role? Yeah, probably just like either being with the owner of the ship just to like bodyguard or just patrolling the ship itself just to make sure no stowaways or anything. Ah, just always checking for stowaways. I mean, <laughs> yeah, can I? Can you I don't I know who you? comes on this ship, man. Like, no, 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 all people that could just like go in the compartment. Even on it, an interstellar flight, he's still patrolling for stowaways. I just like the fact exactly. he's just opening boxes, going hello. Yeah. <laughs> Anyone there? I mean, we have not landed. Right. No one's gotten on the ship. He's just, he's just, he's just a big fan of whack a mole, so he's, he's constantly looking for anyone to come. I'm, on. Yeah. It's not paranoid. It's just really precautious. Right. No, right. he just forgets that he checked. Yeah. yeah Blankton, that's an Blankton. A blank. <laughs> Blankton and Anvik have um, an agreement, so any stowaways that are found um, undergo some surgical operation. Yes. Wow. <laughs> did you want his arm or did you want to cut off his arm? I compl I totally forgot it. <laughs> uh, the, 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 I need to cut off his arm to give oh. it to this guy's leg. I could stitch it back together if you want. I mean, oh, wow. it's not too late. <laughs> it's time to mosh now. What am I going to do with this? I don't know. Put some stuff in it so it's stuffed back again. I don't know. Stuff the arm. <laughs> Perfect. All right. So finally, Scott, what do you get up to uh, aboard uh, your vessel? Well, he, he used to be uh, a, like a big engineer technician on uh, the massive multi conglomerate ships that were hi had hyper mega drives. He used to be really import uh, yeah. important on there, designing everything. But there was a bit of a scandal involving hacking vid feeds and and cameras in. Uh, certain officers' bedrooms, yeah. uh, and he was fired with disgrace. Uh, <laughs> so he's now forced to work on this ship. 
Uh, he <laughs> beneath him and he makes sure everyone knows it at all times. Of course. Okay. So he's just cameras? basic technician. <laughs> so does does he use Avric's um, robotic implementations to help like with the engineering technician yeah. side of yeah. it? Yeah. He, he takes so, like, it, improves things and changes it and, and like uses technical lingo to make himself feel bigger and yeah. more important, basically. Nice, nice. Okay, cool. Um, all right. He might be undergoing some uh, surgical operations in the near future. <laughs> okay, cool. So, uh, to begin uh, our adventure here, seeing as you guys are landing on this kind of busy space hub, uh, of trade hub, basically, uh, and, and stepping out uh, off the ship onto the, uh, the, the plastic floor that is around here in space, of course, got this kind of like outer shell so you guys can like breathe and everything. Uh, but we're going to decide how much money you guys have to begin, you know, any sales or uh, items that you'd like to buy. And just for the terms of this, uh, this, this adventure thing is it might come in handy. So what you guys are going to do uh, is roll your cunning attribute. Uh, and one other attribute or skill of your choice, which will have reflect uh, what your previous profession might have been. For example, if someone who is in sales might roll cunning and negotiation, whereas an unskilled laborer might roll cunning and physique. So uh, once you have that number, we're going to times it by 100. Now, pretty important to uh, to figure out how does the rolling work in the system, seeing as we haven't uh, seen it on the channel for a very long time. I've got a lot of new people in. Uh, so I'm going to bring up this dice window here so you guys can see. So uh, it is a D6 based system. So all you need to actually play the game is uh, D6s. And we can use the, the roll 20 to do these rolls in nice and easy so everyone can see. So uh, if you have 2D in something, that simply means that you have Two dice, two d sixes, and that you roll two d six. If it has two d plus one, it's similar to a d and d system uh, in that you roll, you know, two d dice and add one to the total. So um, if you're rolling a skill and an attribute, maybe it's two die in one and one die in another. You roll three die and add it together. So pretty simple. Uh, roll twenty will be able to demonstrate this perfectly to us in a very few moments here. So if you're just going to take the first dice as the crit die. Well. Yes, the first yeah. dice is going to be the crit die. Now, if you roll a six on this, it's a critical. If you roll a one, it's a flawed success or a, like a critical fail, basically. So. Uh, mm. We take the first die as that. I think we're going to start working more and more mechanics into it, but let's just start with some basic rolling. Um, so uh, you guys pick an attribute uh, which links to your previous career. So if you're a brawler, maybe physique or something like that. Uh, I, I got a 28, but my first six is a crit. Ooh, nice. nice. So, so uh, that was 3d6 for my cunning and nice. then 3d6 for my computers because I'm doing a bit of hacking on the side, funneling some money out of accounts, which potentially aren't mine, but they're not going to be noticed. Nice, nice. So uh, whatever so, number you get times it by 100, and that's how many credits that you're going to be beginning the, uh, the adventure. I'm going to so, be rolling my cunning, plus because I was previously a medic, mm. uh, my first aid, which is 3d6. Nice. Uh, there was an error in my formula. Yes, indeed. We'll get to the crit dice in a second, uh, once everyone's rolled. And uh, nice and exploding. <laughs> so roll three d sixes, or yep, that that sounds about right. Okay, okay, so I rolled a total of a thirteen. Nice. Um, no criticals. Cool. Wow. So, so you times that number by hundred, and just note down on your sheet how much uh, how much gold you have. So, uh, sorry, credits you have. Um, I play way too much D and D. So the crit dice, uh, you're going to explode your crit dice, Gareth, and it's also uh, worth mentioning a pretty cool system that I like about the crit dice in this game. Uh, is uh, you need to keep tracks of how many uh, critical fails you roll. Um, for every five you roll, you get a bonus focus point. So it's kind of like if you keep rolling crap, then you get something in return. Uh, so you're not constantly punished by the game if you roll bad. Uh, at least back in 23 minutes. Ish. I, um, I got a five as well, so I just nice. add that on the top, then yep. times it by 100. Yeah, so as you guys can see, pretty simple system for rolling, really nice and easy, and we're, we're playing already. So you guys have your credits. Mark it down on your sheets. Go ahead. So, so nice. just, just, real, just real quick. Yeah. I got a I got a six on my first roll for my cunning that I get to roll again. Yeah. Your first dice is uh, the crit dice. Yeah. If you do double exclamations after it, it'll keep that dice exploding. Yeah. 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 I'll, I'll change the formula later. Nice. Uh, cool. So I get twenty like two hundred and fifty. Yeah. Sounds about right. Yeah. Two hundred fifty. Got it. Got nice. Fun. Awesome. Yeah, pretty easy, pretty fun. Uh, and thank you to okay. Julia Fan for following. Welcome, my friend, to the adventure. You're a gentle lady and a scholar. 
getting closer to that viewer decision, folks. Let's make it happen. So, you guys uh, have these this amount of money that you've got from your previous careers as you're coming on to the Talbot station today. So, um, yeah, you guys... Uh, Basically start looking around at what is essentially a busy marketplace. There's all sorts of shopkeepers around here selling various different wares, items, gadgets, weapons. Um, and you guys are allowed to carry holstered weapons on the station. Um, so there are people going around that are armed uh, aboard this station. So what are you guys looking for if you're looking to buy things uh, or if you're, you're going to store your money? Um, uh, what are you guys looking for? Because uh, most um, things can be found here. As a soldier, do I like start out with any weapons or Sorry. uh yes i think if you have your sheet up i think they have starting items let me go find it here for you in a moment um there we go quick start soldier let's see what you have i've got a sheet up here um oh, i don't think we have equipment on this one uh maybe not so let's just uh let's say that you guys have kind of basic equipment on you guys um okay you know, Starting, you know, the equivalent of adventurer's kits yeah, in D&D. &D. So, you know, you've got, like, a basic weapon, some basic armor, uh, and some, like, trail rations, that kind of thing. Um, but there's, uh, yeah, holstered for now. So, um, but there's plenty of opportunity to get more advanced weapons. There's, uh, you know, laser weapons are on display and stuff like that, if you guys Ooh, are interested. okay. In mm. Okay. Um, so, yeah. So yeah, I I kind of want to go through. I, I want to. There's a couple of parts I need for my uh, robotic girlfriend who is called uh, Higgs Bloson, which nice. I find amazingly <laughs> hilarious. Um, but I just call her Higgs. Um, and I'm also going to get myself the equivalent of a, a laser derringer, nice. so a little tiny laser pistol that I can keep strapped to, to my hip at all times and hidden away. And then maybe nice. some other things like some the equivalent of whatever comics they have like. Laser comics, or I'm, I'm, that was the best I could do for a futuristic comic. Nice, nice. Um, so yeah, <laughs> yeah. Uh, the the trader's this big kind of muscly guy uh, called Bob, uh, and uh, he's selling all these items here. He's like, he's an old retired military man. He's Bob. Hey, uh, you're gonna want a derringer, right? Well, uh, see, commerce rules on the, the station means that where well, you're gonna have to uh, have it shipped back to your ship and pick it up from there. Can't have you having an unlicensed weapon around before it gets back to your ship. You see, so uh, yeah, you got some basic stuff there, but uh, yeah. I, 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 I mean, we don't always have to follow by the rules. You're wasting my time and your own. Let's, let's just get on with this. Um, Very well, that uh, I, I reach the little computer. I've got tactic. You've got seven criminal records for ignoring uh, gun licensing rules. So that's specifically why I've chosen this shop. Please hand over the goods. <laughs> yeah, he's kind of like thrown off by your, you know, your knowledge of him. Uh, and uh, you can roll yeah, me. I'm also standing way too close. To, I have no idea what personal <laughs> space is. So I'm like right next to him. I'm <laughs> standing right over his shoulder. Roll me Just a. Uh, breathing in his ear. <laughs> roll me a negotiation check. <laughs> Clearly, he's not American. <laughs> <laughs> and we'll see what we get here. Uh, oh god, double. Oh, double ones. that's not good at all. So let's. Literally. Uh, the worst you could have done. <laughs> Actually, you couldn't have done any worse if you tried. Congratulations. Um, yeah, he is uh, not a fan of you kind of trying to, you know, strong arm him on this one. Uh, and he uh, he says, uh, they were all taken down. Uh, I was never convicted. Uh, now, now I'll tell you what, if you're going to want that, it's going to be double the price. Uh, <clears throat> is it because I'm blue? Listen, like, blue people do not automatically commit violence. Well, I don't, right now that you mention it, I don't think I want to have anything to do with this. Hmm. Listen, and I point at him, I'll DDoS your website. Uh, <laughs> roll me an intimidation <laughs> check. <laughs> right, let's we'll see, it's going to make me check it is indeed. Uh, intimidation? Yeah, intimidation. Yeah. Should be just going to let you roll here. Um, uh, that's a three. <laughs> yeah. It's also... Um, <laughs> We're not saying that by retainer flight. <laughs> <laughs> so also... At least it's not a critical fail again. Yeah. Yeah. Also what something... Is, what is it's literally only one better. <laughs> yeah. So also something worth, worth noting in this game for those uh, looking to, to play at home is if you, if you uh, fail something 
um, you know, like a check, then if you're trying to do negotiations further along the line, they're of course going to be more difficult if you start off on a bad foot. Uh, and certainly this hasn't helped your cause um, here. Um, and uh, he uh, he's straight up refusing to, to sell you anything. He's like, oh, we've got anti-hacking systems in place, quite frankly, mate, you can fuck off. Listen, my friend, he's just being a little bit, maybe a little bit rational about this. I'm not really good with words. Well, I'm, I'm drawing a little bit of a blank on this, but perhaps you could just work this out. What are you trying to buy, uh, Gareth? Uh, it, it's actually Scott. Uh, thank you. Oh, he looks yeah. like a Gareth. Yeah, he does. Uh, uh, that's because it's his name. And I want that uh, new part for my robot. Don't ask what it is. It, it's very much required. It burns out very easily. I see. How much are you charging this fellow right here? He says, uh, I'm not serving him at all. Well, you can charge to me. What's your charging? Uh, let's see. Uh, it's going to be... Seeing as I know he is getting it, 400 Terrans. 400 Terrans? You can get 350 if you like, friend. No, I'd like 400. Well, can I, <laughs> can I roll <laughs> a negotiation, please? <laughs> sure, roll me a negotiation. No, it's fine, right? Can I, uh, <laughs> you can, can have free of it. Can I, I be leaning fall. behind him just shouting, I'm going to bang your firewalls in. <laughs> can right. I use my robotic charms? <laughs> oh, yeah, it? 10. <laughs> nice. He doesn't need my robotic charms. That's a crit, so you roll yeah. and explode the dice. Yeah. Explode the dice, put two exclamation marks after it. Oh, wait, what? There's math? I'm afraid so. Uh, exclamation marks <laughs> aren't commonly in maths, but... No, yeah. <laughs> I don't know what's, what school of maths you went through. <laughs> so, uh, Might be 10. part of the problem. 4 slash R, 1D6, exclamation mark, exclamation mark. There we go. 4 slash R. Space. Space. 1D6. <laughs> exclamation mark, exclamation mark. There we go. Cool. Literally Much. the exact same Okay. There we go. go. So a 12 altogether. Nice. Yeah. So, uh, so he says, uh, ah, 350 it is. And, uh. Would yeah. you like a kiss or a cheek as well? No. To sweeten the deal altogether? Uh, no. No, I wouldn't. All right, all right, all right. You look, you look like a strapping young man, I just wanted to ask. Well, it is your 350. Yeah. No harm, no foul. Yeah, he says, uh, all right, Lee, uh, we'll be sent over to your uh, your ship, all right? All right, that sounds good. Put it there, man. Yeah, and he... I just spit on my hand and I just, <laughs> just do that clasp of yeah, the arm yeah. thing and just go like, brotherhood, whatever. Yeah. All right, you got your stuff, Garrett? Is yeah. that all you need? Uh, well, that's the rollover from him, and I'm, I, I give him a really bad review on future Yelp. Future Yelp, felt. Future Yelp. Yeah. <laughs> Future Yelp. I, I, I felt yep. him really bad. You felt him really hard. You give him a good felping, and uh, yeah, he's gonna he's gonna fill that one in the morning. Uh, so anyone else looking to pick anything up? Obviously, you have limited funds. So if there's anything, uh, yeah. yeah, I would like uh, a I, laser gun. Nice. I would also like a laser gun. <laughs> I would like some lasers. The most laser laser. I would like a laser gun, and I would also like to buy. <laughs> I'm still working on the voice a bit. I'd also like to buy. A medic gun, you know, something that I can from range heal others. You know, from Team Fortress. <laughs> yeah, you, you play Team <laughs> Fortress, <laughs> right, buddy? <laughs> they exist in this world, it's futuristic. I'll have the crit squeak, please. Future Fortress. <laughs> please. Future Fortress 23, I believe it's from. The like, graphics are still the same. <laughs> <laughs> still the same engine. Still running. He's uh, he says, well, if you're looking to pick up a uh, uh, laser rifle, it's going to cost you a fair amount of terrors, fail. Well, I don't know if you're going to be able to afford such a thing. How much are we uh, talking? Well, your friends are this one, aren't you? Uh, let's see. I'm not this. friends with him. Discrimination Once. going on right now. You see this? this is discrimination. I'm, yeah, I'm friend of the blueies. It's all right. He's also with me. You're a We're bluey. Friend, no, yeah. I'm yeah. not friends with him. I want to uh, put him onto some search corporations to deal with his. Five hundred uh, terrans, and you get the head out of my shop. For like two laser guns or just one. Per laser. I... Gun. They ain't cheap, mate. Well. Can I just um, slowly run my non-robotic, my normal arm, 
trailing down his arm in an attempt to seduce and reduce the price and say, Ooh. I'm sure that you can do a better price than 500 pounds, good sir. <laughs> Batting my my uh, robotic eyelashes at him. <laughs> the infamous the at, this, at this point, have you guys tried the three completely different <laughs> yeah. uh, negotiation <laughs> tactics from three completely different people so all I'm sitting next to each other? <laughs> yeah. uh, and thank I'm you. trying to damn well. All right, all right. All right, guys. So thank you to Institute for its five pounds. He says, create a monster. One supply is in the corridor at their own. Some space mechanical spiders attack. Thanks so much, Toof. I uh, appreciate it, my friend. Thanks for the donation, buddy. Um, so, um, yeah, roll me a charm. It's going to be very hard at this point because uh, this guy has withstood a great deal of terrible uh, negotiations. Fifteen. Fifteen? Oh, fuck. Um, yeah. Yeah. I'm, I'm very charming. Uh, I can give you... Uh, I'll give you 10% off. Yeah. Let's call it... Uh, let's call it 450. Very well, sir. 450 it is. Oh, will in the 50. Come here. There uh, you go, fist out to uh, spit and shake. Um, Return it. Nice. Um, anything else we want in here? Anything else? Last chance. Closing down store here. Right. Uh, Do they have any medic supplies? Uh, me yeah, he didn't seem to have a medic gun. Uh, let's have a look. Um, he would have some like uh, tourniquets and like med packs, basically. Yeah. How much uh, med packs? Uh, where I've been trying to find a cost list. I see the emergency med pack and a standard med pack. So basically, standard med pack has more uses, and the emergency med pack only has the one use. Um, let me go and find. Ooh, uh, I will. Cost? Depending on how much they cost. Uh, let's say uh, the. Uh, that he's gonna say to you, his price is for list. Do I have the two more? No, I don't. Uh, he's gonna say, uh, if you want the uh, standard med pack used for longer, I'll charge you a hundred terrans. The uh, the emergency one for one use, just uh, fifty. Yeah. Uh, so I'm going to get four of the emergency for two hundred turns. Okay. And then I will get, so I now have four emergency med packs, and then I will get um, a couple of the standard med packs. Uh, so that's another 200. Nice. And then I have one laser rifle as well. Da, 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 and okay. that is what I am buying. Nice, okay, cool. Uh, awesome. So, um, yeah, he uh, he hands over, another spit and shake, uh, and he says, "Right, I'm closing down store." And he's kind of got his big like, uh, like what do you really call them, like rafters or something that you kind of like pull down. Shut up. Like, yeah, yeah, shutters. Shutters. Like, yeah. yeah. Uh, he just kind of like pulls them down in front of his like garage uh, store, um, and uh, you guys. Is, um, it, go is it futuristic and made of light? No, no, it's, uh, it's like an hologram. He's just. <laughs> 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 yeah. Um, no, indeed, it, it's not. But uh, he does. Um, he just closed down the store, uh, and uh, you guys begin to hear this little kind of chittering, like metallic uh, feet walking uh, towards you guys from around the corner. It's. Um, does anyone hear that? It's. Um, it's just we... me talking to the dude that I've been negotiating a job with. <laughs> He's got robotic feet. <laughs> Don't judge him for it. I'm unsure. I'm going to uh, suffer a bit of a PTSD case here. I'm going to try and hide from this noise. Uh, okay. I mean, what? How, how unprofessional are you? Oh! <laughs> and it's a wow. crit. You are the most hidden person. <laughs> <laughs> 16, nice. 16. So, wow. you just disappear from the group. Um, like, yeah. <laughs> Where'd you go? Where'd you go? <laughs> I'm, I'm still trailing along. I've just activated um, camouflage, um, which is built into my helmet, and camouflage is my entire body. Nice, nice. Whoa. So, you guys, uh, the, 
the rest of you guys kind of turn around and you see these like tiny little uh, metallic robots are uh, uh, coming towards you. There's a little kind of swarm of them uh, coming towards you and you realize these guys are kind of flesh devouring creatures uh, which were created a while ago. They're basically like a like a plague essentially uh, and they spread from sector to sector um, and uh, yeah they are pretty voracious. Looks like a, they've got an infestation here. Uh, on this uh, station, and they're coming straight towards you guys, which is a perfect time to uh, show off a little bit of uh, the combat in Star Ascension, I would say. So I think it also knocks a star off on Fjelp. Indeed, yes. Um, so to roll some initiative to begin with, you guys roll your cunning or uh, tactics. So um, yeah. Can you not also roll the base initiative? Uh, all character actions in initiative order. Highest initiative roll declares and reloads action first. A character can use their cunning attributes or tactics skill for initiative. Uh, given side cannot for group initiative. I think on the pre-gen sheets that you have there, it's just chosen your best one. So yeah. yeah. Whatever it says under initiative there. Yeah. yeah. Whoa! Uh, I created and exploded. Oh my god. Oh my god. You created and exploded. Oh dear. <laughs> That's some bad news. Um, Right, let me get my. Um, yeah. Ooh. Uh. Okie dokie. So, uh, Scott, what did you roll? Uh, Gareth. Uh, I got uh, fifteen. Fifteen. Nice. I'm not sure if that makes a difference. Ooh. Cool. Uh, Demerel, what did you roll? Uh, I got eight. Eight. Uh, Blankton. Uh, I've got a fourteen. Uh, do do if we roll a crit, do we do the yeah. one? Yeah, you okay. you will explode yeah, yeah. yourself. Yeah, I totally forgot how to slash. It's forward slash. Then ah, uh, you can always oh, just press the up arrow and I get the previous command. There you go. It's a uh, right. all on top. So eighteen. Nice. Yeah. Still. Oh, four. Uh. So let's see. Let's see. Eighteen. Yeah. Are you ready? Goodness. Uh, Average cut ten. Nice. Perfect. So uh, we've got Blankton, followed by Scott, followed by the Spiders, Averick, and Demerel. All right then. So, Blankton, it is your turn to go. Now, within the combat round, represents about five seconds of game time. In that time, uh, you don't, you can't just make one action. You don't have to just make one action. You can make up to four basic actions. However, the more <laughs> actions you make, the more difficult they become. So it's kind of like a, an economy of: Do you want to do mm. lots of things badly, or uh, one thing um, really good? This, we destroyed Gareth's face. Apparently, I've got to find his face again. Oh, <laughs> I just saw. Me oh, wow. oh so we have a Lee. We have a Lee. Hey, Lee. We have a Lee. Hey, everyone. <laughs> Everybody say hey, Lee. Hey, Lee. Hey! Well, Lee. basically just deleted me, well done. Yeah. Oh, I'm yeah. sorry! It's okay. <laughs> I'm, I'm honestly deleted. deleted. <laughs> oh, dude. Deleted. Oh, I'm sorry. It's alright, no one okay. minds. We prefer this face. Uh, oh, no beard. Thank you. No beard, oh, but <laughs> work on it. Um, well, I shaved today, so... <laughs> oh, you and me both. I noticed. <laughs> Whoa! That's <laughs> not <laughs> Wow. <I'm sorry. laughs> wow! Come on, wow! <laughs> What the <laughs> hell, guys? Oh my god. I didn't say anything. <laughs> wow. My salad. god. Salad, you nice. I did, I shit. You naughty salad. You're such a rotten lettuce. Such a rotten lettuce. Alright, so. I'm back so... on form, guys. Thank you for having me back. <laughs> no, no. <laughs> um, so, Eris says, Eris says, hey, there we go. Um, so, Lee is our um, player, our fifth player for today. So Lee, uh, I think we've got all the character sheets already taken, so you need to have uh, an extra... You're going to have to either be another soldier, bruiser, engineer, merchant, or combat. I chose mate. merchant. Alright, I'll make We you. have another yeah. merchant. Alright, we'll have... Uh, Ooh, more money. Merchant too. More money, no more money, problems. No problems. <laughs> <laughs> exactly, that's why we have robot spiders attacking us. There you go. Oh. Yeah, did I walk in the yeah. Oh, I'm sorry. <laughs> You're like, hey guys. Yeah, so, oh dear. So you guys. So, uh, Lee brought the uh, robot spiders. Mm. Clearly. Mm. Oh, it was all my fault. All right, so let's, <laughs> let's catch it's up, okay. Lee, about where you guys are in the story. So, you guys are currently. Um, 
traders um, and you're taking a shipment from A to B, basically, uh, okay. from one station to a different uh, star. Uh, you guys have just bought some equipment uh, and you've just been attacked by spider robots. Uh, oh, and God. we're just getting into a, a bit of combat. We'll um, we'll get you into the combat in a second, but let's, uh, yeah, so I was just explaining the combat system, I think. Uh, so you can take four basic actions in a combat, it, um, but the more you do, uh, the worse, uh, the harder it becomes to do them, essentially. So you've got a bit of economy, um, and if you want to shoot something, uh, we'll get into that in a second if you want to start shooting things and the rules as we go. Okay, yeah, that would be... I learn on the job better. So. Exactly. So, uh, also, uh, figure out a character name and we'll get to that in a second. So, Blankton, it's your turn. Right. Where are the Where are the spiders? Or The spiders are not on this map currently because it was just a sudden impromptu one. They're like 10 feet ahead of you. Oh, okay. Cool. Uh, and they're just, like, my pals are to the side of me and stuff like that. Okay. Yeah. Apart uh, from uh, Avrik, who has disappeared. Oh, okay, yeah. Yeah. Oh, I already got one! <laughs> <laughs> no! Um, I just, uh, I will pull out my light laser pistol. Nice, okay. Uh, and I will, I will, I will do the shooty shooty. Do the shooty shooty. Uh, okay, so. I will, I will use all my actions to shoot. Alright, so, like everything else, combat is resolved by rolling the appropriate skill to beat a difficulty number. So, just like, uh, to hit in D&D. &D. Uh, so if hit, right. a character takes damage. Damage is first soaked by armor, so you, like if you you get ten damage and then you take away one from armor, so you got nine. If any damage loss remains uh, penetrating the armor, a character rolls physique to absorb some damage. So both people roll. So so Blankerton rolls, he gets damage, armor is soaked, and then the uh, victim rolls physique, and then you take away the physique number. Whatever you have left is the damage left, basically. That they take. I see. I will probably have to ask that uh, no map again, but like, I will try my best to not get hit. Uh, mm. Okay, so if I'm shooting, uh, is that like th th uh, throwing or? Let's see what you've got. Small arms. small arms is what you're looking at there. Oh, so I thought that meant, I don't know why. <laughs> Little <laughs> arms. <laughs> It just means your arms are unnaturally small. Roll to see how small they are. You are a Tyrannosaurus <laughs> Rex. That's a crit fail. Oh, oh boy. Oh, we nailed it. Oh boy, guys. Oh uh, my god. Oh, oh. Boy. Um, okay, and then... Spider oh, nope, that didn't mean to do that at all. Oh. Um, <laughs> That's not what I was. 11 to hit. Nice. 11. 11 plus um, that, which is an extra one. So it's 12 altogether. Do I hit that? If, yes. Except for the fact that you have to remember your first die was a one. That means your first die is a crit fail. Ah, oh, I didn't read Was that. it? No, 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 no. no that was, first that was die was a two. Yeah, my yeah so you didn't, didn't mean... rub the explode. So it's just 11. Oh, there we go. Okay, cool. So 11. Okay. Yeah. Perfect. All right. Very nice. And also, thank you to the gentleman and scholar who just followed uh, Shadows Panther as well as Leaf Hunter. Thank you guys for following. Both gentle folk thank and you. scholars. Thank you for the follows. Oh, yes. Oh, yes. Um, cool. So, uh, do, do a hit with a, with a 12? A 12 is a hit, yes. Okay, so, cool. what I do oh. now is I look at the armor of the creature. I say this creature's spider just got armor 1. So, you had uh, 11 total. Was it 12? I've forgotten. It was 11 plus eleven. one. Okay, so 12 total, and then one is soaked by armor. Now, you don't have to do anything else. Uh, all that uh, the creature does is roll its physique, uh, and then it takes away this number from the remaining number of 10, I think. Uh, I see. It rolled 11, so it doesn't take any damage. It soaked it all uh, with its natural fortitude, because it rolled fucking well. Nicely done, Mr. DM. Yeah. Jeremy. It's jammy. That's yeah. what it was. First That's roll. Beginner's luck. not quite right. Uh, he needs to roll his weapon damage. Oh, you're right. He needs to roll his weapon damage. How could I forget? That's what I was like. Uh, like yeah. Okay. You're right. Draw your damage roll, and then we'll reduce that from that. There we go. I see. Yeah. Okay. So it's 1 to 2d. Yeah, it's been like... 2d. So like 2d6. So yeah. Okay, 2D. just 2d6. Okay, cool. Boom. Not the problem, okay. friends. Uh, I rolled it, and I got a six. Uh, okay, so, uh, yeah, 
Um, no cigar armor, and then his uh, physique roll is enough to stop him from taking too much damage. But or you can do this. Uh, you've you've done your first attack. You've got four actions that you can take. If you want to keep on just blasting away, you can do. I would like to do that. I would like to kill a spider. That okay. would be my. That would be the cherry on top of mm. my Sunday for today. I like it. All right. Uh, all right. So let's see, it's <laughs> roll my small arms. Um, <laughs> all right. So let's see, roll small arms. You just kind of flail again. your little. Oh, oh, there we go. Jesus. Um, well, that, those exploding die. I can tell you right now, it's a hit. <laughs> yeah. Okay. Cool. I'm just gonna. I'm just gonna roll damage. Yeah. Um, ten. Ten damage. All right. So it takes one. So it's a nine. It's gonna roll physique and gets eight. So it takes two damage. Now damage is done a little yes. bit differently from just like an arbitrary health pool that you might have in a game such as D and D or Pathfinder. Uh, we have uh, different tiers of damage. So if you look on your sheet here, uh, 1 to 2 is plus 1 wounds, 3 to 4 is plus 2 wounds, 5 to 6 plus 3 wounds, 7 to 8 is plus 4 wounds. Uh, as you take wounds, uh, you add up, you kind of like tally these ones out. Uh, and basically by the time you get to mortally wounded, you're, you're just done. Uh, but for the uh, sake of you guys obviously being uh, PCs, we're worrying m much more about that than we are a tiny little mechanic robot. Because otherwise we'd, we'd, we'd spend... You know, hours uh, tracking up little wounds in this guy. So we're going to say, that's a fair amount of damage you got in there. Um, two damage, and it's only a tiny little clicky robot. So you just kind of uh, fire off your little laser pistol, and you see one of them just kind of crumple down and make a little kind of uh, mechanical whirry noise as it goes down. You've got another two actions if you want to if you want to make any one. I want to shoot as many spiders as I can. I just hate spiders. You just hate spiders. That makes sense to me. I do. I do. I just want to just shoot the spiders and also that my f new merchant friend uh, is dead. I want to avenge him because I can't <laughs> see him. I assume he's just Jimmy dead. Jimmy must be dead, yeah. <laughs> it's like okay. when you do you play peekaboo with children and they assume that the item is gone from the world forever. Exactly. Yeah. It's like that. Uh, let's see. There, oh, Jesus. Uh, what happens with a critical fail? So, <laughs> on your critical fail, uh, try, take a note that you have... Uh, you have messed it up a bit. Um, you've had a... Depending on whether or not the difficulty number's been. So, uh, you did not beat the difficulty number, and so you've got a critical fail. Um, you, you definitely don't want it, but make sure that you note down your critical fail. Um, and let me okay. go to the critical fail section here. Uh, go down I here. totally meant to do this so we could explain rulings. Yeah, exactly. Uh, Perfect. This, this is very clever of you. So, critical fail examples uh, are arbitrated by the DM. So, uh, you could have weapon jams, laser weapons powering down, uh, you know, create smokes, uh, stuff like that. You can you can basically decide what happens. So, we're going to say that your weapon jams uh, as you, you, you know, you're firing off it and it's just not working. You need to kind of like shove something back into place. Something's fallen out as you've been firing <laughs> off. It's a musket. And off. <laughs> you need to uh, give it a good bash. Exactly. You give it a good bash. Um, give it a kick. Just so, don't, don't, don't get purple. Yeah, exactly. Don't get a purple right. weapon here. So uh, we're going to say that you spend the rest of your time trying to like, unjam your weapon um, from its. Uh, <laughs> um, I actually you just want to actually, instead of trying to try instead of trying to fix the jammed weapon, can I try to hide from the spiders now that I know that I'm royally screwed? I mean, they're right in your. They're right in front of you. Uh, I know. They're probably. <laughs> I Bad mean, idea. Never mind. I'll just try to fix my gun. You can my try. Gun. Okay, cool. Okay. Do I do I do that with this like a, a disadvantage? I guess. Uh, well, yeah. Basically, the the difficulty number goes up um, on the the gym side of things. So you're you're doing very very hard to do things at this point. You're gonna want to explode some dice. Uh, I'm going to I'm going to try to do something. Uh. Uh, what's the... Oh god, okay. What's the target number? Uh, it's not revealed, so it's a bit like okay, an AC. Right. Alright, yeah. alright, all right. let's see what happens. Uh, I don't think I made it. No, uh, unfortunately not. You try and, you know, try and hide, <laughs> but you're five feet in front of these spiders, they're looking yeah, right at you. pretty big. And you don't looking. have any active camo. Yeah, uh, well, alright, then my last action, I'm just gonna go on Fjelp and try to knock down a star on the rating. Gotcha. <laughs> <laughs> All right, so Scott, it's your turn. 
Uh, okay, so kind of after a blind bit of panic, uh, I'm going to desperately attempt to do a search action and look for a maintenance port in the wall or something like that for me to access with my little laptop thing. Nice, yeah, your like, little portable hacking device. Yeah. Uh, so I, I got an eight to yeah. look for a maintenance port. Yeah, it's your first action, so it's pretty easy to do it. You find one just on the side of the, uh, the, the kind of garage here that he's got. Okay, so now I'm going to try and plug in my laptop and hack into the computer system and summon... Uh, the cleaning robots, the ones that come and hoover the floor on a regular basis. Nice. You are the plug-in baby. Uh, let's... Uh, yeah, you go. That was, that was computers. I got a computers. 10. Computers. Nice. Yeah, 10. Absolutely. So you can hack into the database and uh, you see like a little green light flash like cleaning in operation. Cleaning in operation. And you see from around the corner all these like uh, robots and they have uh, feather dusters with them. Uh, looking similarly quite like this actually uh, and they just come to start you know fluffing around um, and kind of sweeping the streets with their uh, blue fluffy dongers raised high um, yeah so uh, I, I would just take a second to tart and question their life choices to why they're waving that thing around yeah yeah uh, and yeah I'll, I'll spend the rest of my turn concentrating keeping them driving towards where these um, spiders are and, and changing the location wherever they go. So I'm happy to spend the rest of my turn doing okay. that. Okay, absolutely, cool. So they're going to come in uh, pretty soon. Um, and we're going to say that they, those guys, as they come in, they start to sweep away a bunch of the, the spiders as well, leaving only a few of them left um, of your clever hacking of the, uh, the maintenance board here. So, <laughs> there comes in the fluffer, indeed. Um, so they are going to make just a few attacks. <laughs> oh my god. Uh, again, I know, the ladies always get excited when I bring out the donger. Um, just... It's when you bring out the fluffy donger, I get fluffy, a bit like, ooh, fluffy blue it's, even, it's even blue. I have the vapors. <laughs> Indeed, yes. I'm, I'm working on getting it purple again, but it's currently, you know, <laughs> so we can uh, have a, purple moon. a state of shock. Uh, yeah, so I can have a purple, a purple moment. moment. <laughs> uh, so, uh, it's going to make... I think we know now what a purple moment is. Oh, yeah. It's going it to make... time to walk away from this awkward conversation. <laughs> it's taking an attack against Plankton and a six. Um, and that is not going to be any good because he rolled a, uh, a one there. So he's going to critically fail. Uh, and as the little robot comes out to kind of like pierce you with his little pincers, uh, it's just swept up by one of the cleaning robots. It's just kind of... Uh, scoops it up with a fluffer um, and it kind of falls into that. Uh, another one is going to make an attack against Scott who's on the maintenance wall. Uh, for a five, which is not good. Uh, what, what's that against? Can I pick what it's against, or do I need to roll? Uh, let me. Do you want a physical agility, dexterity. I guess I can't talk, talk my way out of it. Can't really talk your way out of it. I mean, that that would be nice. Um, actually, we need uh, remind me to talk about focus and character points in a minute. Uh, I don't know what this is. Let me see. Um, let's go all the way back up to the beginning. Da, 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 da. I tell you what, all the things they could be against a 2d6. So I roll 2d6 and let you choose what they, sure. it's going to be against. Probably I got an 8, so number. it's going to be more than... Let's say physical, I kind of bat them off. Yeah, I mean, it's a pretty shitty roll anyway, yeah. so um, not so much there. So, Averick, your turn. Okay, um, I'm currently hidden. Does anyone look injured? If I remember correctly, not. So I am going not to... Not so bad. You guys Can I... Can I try and remain concealed while firing? Uh, sure. It's not going to be pretty easy. You can roll me a hide roll whilst you're doing it. To see if you remain unseen. <laughs> Damn, yeah. No one, no one fucking sees you. Yeah, um, I've got a 3d6 hide because apparently combat medics are good at hiding. Ah, I mean, they, sh they should be, right? <laughs> yeah. Uh, so, a 6... Oh, no. That's me, five, yeah. <laughs> I was going to say, that's, yeah, something yeah. that's even worse, so yeah. I'm assuming you, I don't hit. Do you know that, buddy? Not at all. Um, no. Uh, unfortunately for you, uh, you kind of fire off. Uh, it doesn't see you, but um, there's uh, not a connection there. Anything else you want to do, Everick? Um, I want to try and fire again. Let's do it. For a ten. A ten's a hit. Oh, yeah. Okay, so this was with my laser rifle. Ah, People right. behind me. As laser always. rifles. Um, shoot lasers. What is the damage on a laser rifle? Ah, uh, let me find it for you. I think it was 3D when I last looked. But it was five minutes ago, which means I don't remember. 
Uh, let's see, laser rifle is here. Da, 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 da. Uh, 3D. Um, 3D6. So, gosh, <laughs> why? <laughs> Um, do Damn, I roll dude. those exploding dice? Uh, so one one thing to note is that damage doesn't crit. Damage doesn't uh, crit? Yeah. yeah. Okay, so that's 16 Ooh. damage. That being said, yeah. Uh, so 15 minus 10, but you actually roll pretty well on it. Uh, it's 4, but it's enough oh. to scrap this creature. Uh, and a couple of them around it, actually, Avery. It's kind of pretty huge damage done right there. Uh, as a couple of these spiders are kind of... Uh, and scroll, kind of like go onto their backs like actual spiders do when they die. Um, not that I'd know. Demeral, uh, and this, anything you want to do, Averick, on the rest of your uh, time? But most well, of these guys are gone. Most of these guys are gone. Well, I'm going to take one final shot. Alright. Um, for a six, which is not going to hit, I'm assuming. No, six is not enough, unfortunately. Yeah. Alright, so Demeral. And before that, I may have missed it. Where does it say how many things you can do per turn? You do four oh. actions per turn. It says four, it okay. on page two, I think. All right. Okay. I, I don't have the the rules in front of me. I just have the character sheet. Uh, so okay. Come around. So page Demeril, three. Yeah. Demeril was not with the guys going shopping. He was, like I said, in like a tavern somewhere yeah, yeah. trying to buy a mission. So we'll say when when this is all going down, he's like walking back to the group uh, oh, with I don't know. It's someone that he met in a tavern, probably an alien of like as close to right. the shade of green as he could find. And he'll see the robots and he'll be like, uh, okay, okay, uh, g give me one second. I gotta go deal with my crew. Uh, and then he'll kind of run into the fight. Come back soon. Uh, and then how many, how many robots are there left? Uh, there's like uh, two of them left. Okay. He is going to run up to him and put his hands up and says, all right, look, let's stop the violence. Let's talk this thing out like civilized adults. Because as a person, I have the ability to parlay. Yeah. I can convince a hostile party to talk Anything? Rather than it just as a hostile party. It's certainly a hostile party. <laughs> oh and also, if I get the XP is overrated, and it's two pounds, says inspiration to, or equivalent to Lee and Gareth. We're going to give you guys uh, an extra. Thank you! We're going to give you an extra focus point for that. Ooh. Oh, yeah. Focus. So, so while he's going to be like, look, you're, you're robots, you're spiders, but is this really what you want to be doing with your life? Just let's think about this for a minute, all right? All right, roll, give me that roll. What uh, what do you want for that? Uh, let's see. Uh, roll me a. All of, all of my social skills are three D. So. Just roll it. Yeah, just roll it. Oh my gosh. Yeah. All right. So three. So let me let me find my thing again. We're shopping over here. <laughs> yeah. Uh, this will just be charm. Why not? Uh, I got a nine on that. <laughs> all right. So a nine. Uh. The uh, the two robots look at you, and fortunately for you, they've had detailed uh, programming um, to for for just such a scenario uh, as the robots are kind of like sweeping them up, the street cleaners, uh, and um, the robots kind of look up at you for a second and then just begin to like chitter away pretty quickly. Like... I, uh, I I I say, see, this was a good talk. I'm glad we did this. Uh, and then I'll look back, like, just watch them skid away and look back at the group and, like, cover it, like, cowering behind walls with blasters and stuff and be like, I leave you alone for five minutes! Five minutes! <laughs> Am I still hidden at this point? Yeah. <laughs> so you don't see Avrik. <laughs> to be perfectly but he did kill one of our own. Who? Avrik. No. Oh! I thought you were dead! No. I'm still hidden. Oh. Look, I'm here. I'm here. <laughs> We're on the station. I'm trying to find us a job, and somehow you 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 make enemies with the local spider robots. Look, I. The nice people. Why do you gotta go fighting them? Let, let's be frank. It was your aftershave that scared them off, just like those women over there. Ooh. <laughs> I slowly go for a bang. fist bump. <laughs> <laughs> I, 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 I oh, can't really hear what a fist bumps are. 
still hidden at this son of <laughs> head and hands. Come on, man. No, no, I didn't mean like that. Jeez. So actually, as you guys are, as you mentioned those women over there, you do spot uh, a small group of people. Uh, in fact, before you spot it, you spot the last member of your crew, the, the returning merchant. Uh, Lee, who are you going to be playing today? I am Rocket, the intergalactic diamond seller. <laughs> Rocket, yeah. <laughs> yeah. Yes. That's Rocket. Uh, Rocket. Okay. Is it with an yeah. E or an I? Is in like, you know, do you want to rock it? Uh, no, rock, rocket, as in like the... I would like the Broadway the space method of travel. Oh, the, uh, Rocket yeah. Raccoon! Rocket, Rocket Raccoon. Yeah, like that. a rocket from Radio City. From <laughs> Guys of the Galaxy. Yeah. Like a shitty herb. Like okay. Like, okay. Nice. Gotcha. Like all a right. what? Like a shitty what? You know, you get like Rocket, like that fucking thing that they put on all salads for no reason. Then, and like, it's like awful. Shitty <laughs> Ooh, shitty herb. Shitty salad. Hey! Like shitty herbs. We've got salad and shit salad, um, I Well, I mean, I'm just looking out for Askren on this one. What? I'm just, I'm just back another buddy. What is it with salads today? <laughs> It's, it's, explain this to me. No, Brian has no, always no. been salad. It's Pretty a long story. Sure we're gonna have the name this salad. It's always been so, and always it, it will be. It's Brian's favourite thing to toss, and we, we just called him out. <laughs> <laughs> we couldn't, we couldn't sort of, you know, n not let him do that. Why exactly. Why did I call you salad? Cause I toss it. <laughs> Good God. So <laughs> oh, um. My. Jeez. Let us continue. Yes, indeed. So to remind you guys what we're doing today, we're on Star Ascension. You can find there. We're playing the Kickstarter campaign, which is live currently. You can go ahead and pledge it. It's a cool sci-fi, gritty game that you can find uh, with Open D6 system, which is really fun and uh, pretty enjoyable that we're enjoying so far. If you guys want to get involved in the story, all you need to do is hit that follow button and join us. When we hit 20 followers, you guys get to decide on anything. That happens next in our campaign. You could decide that a wave of a million spiders comes to devour them. You could decide yeah. uh, that, in fact, all of the spiders were tiny communists looking to <laughs> bring <laughs> bring <laughs> Stalin's <laughs> rule. No, I oh, know. I'm just I'm just spitballing here. Anything could happen. Oh. Anything. Could happen. Communist spiders. <laughs> communism in space. They go exactly. back to their little Che Guevara, like, uh... <laughs> the Che Guevara posters yeah. that they're worshipping. Che Guevara moon unit. Yeah. <laughs> Kim Jong spider. <laughs> so, um, so yeah, you guys do notice a, a little group uh, off to one side, however. Um, and there are these three big guys, and they seem to be causing a bit of trouble for uh, a young lady. Um, the leader of their group looks to be this, this guy, he's got this thug, basically, with a cybernetic arm. Um, and he's got this kind of sloppy top knot, tangled curly hair, and he's got uh, two other companions with him. Uh, and you, you see them all kind of making these kind of advances on this woman who's wearing a cloak, and she's got like this hood above her cloak, so she can't see her very well. Um, but she is clearly very uncomfortable by these gentlemen making uh, advances. Can I make a white knight roll, please, Will? Can I uh, yes, make a can. sneak up behind the oh. uh, leader roll? Can I offer her a pure white rose? Can I shoot the person that's intimidating? Do I have a stallion I can ride in? I'm, I'm, I'm genuinely going to walk in, like, between the both and walk up and go, the lady. <laughs> oh my god, no. The first uh, I've never seen of Gary. So, while, while Scott is creating a distraction, I want to sneak up behind the thug and using my robotic arm this time, I want to charm his robotic arm. Okay. <laughs> So Wait, shall I what? first? <laughs> <laughs> the robotic arm has its own brain. <laughs> yeah. Right. So, so shall I first roll the sneak? First roll the sneak roll and. Okay. Lenroll so that's me. a sneak of nine. Yeah. Okay. So, uh, he's gonna roll. Okay. Let's see what we get. All, All right, so, sixes. So let's just say <laughs> you start to, uh, you know, look, uh, start creeping around, and he kind of turns uh, towards you as you're as you're down, like you know, sneaking on the floor. And he's like, "What the hell are you doing?" And he turns to Scott, who kind of has just pushed into this group, uh, and he's like, uh, <laughs> "Oh, just just leave us alone, yeah, just leave us alone." Uh, so I'm now going to okay, I'm going to see my sneak fear. I'm going to just purely straight up walk to him. I'm going to say. Why, you look such a strong, handsome man. Surely you want someone who can emulate your cybernetics rather than this woman. And I'm going to charm him. Alright, roll me a charm. 
for 13. Oh, okay. So he uh, he says, uh, you know, he he like he likes being kind of like talked up to. Clearly, he's 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 very receptive to that kind of. Clearly, got a bit of an ego. Um, and uh, he's I don't know nothing about that. He uh, he says uh, <laughs> <laughs> he, he's no experience. He says. Uh, that's literally true. So uh, he says, uh, oh, well, yeah, I am. Uh, yeah, maybe so. What's, what's your name, sweetheart? My name... My name is Averick. Right. Averick. What's your name? My name is uh, Wagner Chris. I've got quite a German name for my London accent, but... Uh, <laughs> my name is Wagner Chris. <laughs> <laughs> I'm gonna stay well, by. I'm gonna stay by. Wagner, Wagner, you can call me, because I got a waggy so, tail. While I'm talking to him, yes. um, what I want to do, um, I guess this might be a sneak, um, is I basically I want to lower my robotic arm, but I want yeah. it to have one of my saw attachments, mm -hmm. and I want to Geeky. sneak it to his crotch. All right, all right, I'm a sneak roll. By by this point, however, the, the girl with the hood, she's had enough like uh, time to like get away, basically. So she's moving very quickly away from you guys. She's shit's getting real. She's getting uh, I, I, I'm trying to talk to her and like. Yeah, okay. she's she's not speaking to you. She's got her hood up. She's just walking straight away. She wants to be away from this place. As she walks away, I go so... feminist. <laughs> So I rolled a 10 for my... Uh, so, okay, I'm done now. Carry on. Yeah, so... <laughs> so, yeah, he looks down at his, like, crotch as he feels something metallic and cold there. Uh, and he's like, bit, bit early for that, isn't it, Everick? He's confused. What you're going to do now is you're going to turn around with your thugs and you're going to walk away. Uh, Otherwise, you're going to lose the most important parts you have of your body. And I pull out a gun next to her and w pointing at the crotch area as well. Guys, <laughs> 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 I'm trying to be supportive <laughs> character. And then you decide to like take his crotch. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> She's like, kind of bipolar <laughs> and you know really energetic about doing surgery. <laughs> 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 Operation on his crotch. I, I'm standing like, <laughs> at the, at the and just looking at my watch and waiting for this. Waiting for this <laughs> he, uh, he's like, uh, oh, yes, mistress. I mean, yeah, yeah, yes. Uh, and he, uh, he starts to immediately leave and get out of here. Wagner is, or, or Wagner is immediately just getting out of the scenario. He's, he's not about it. It's not about it are, at all. Are uh, you are you idiots done? We got. Uh, we're trying to get a job here. Job. I'm ready now. Unless you want to go some surgery. Hustles rocket. Yeah. Oh. So so. <laughs> what? Uh, <laughs> demo. Would you, you uh, like to undergo some surgery? Go go back to the ship. <laughs> go, go to bed. Go to bed. Go back. Go, go back to the ship. Go to your ship and don't come out until you've thought about what you've done. <laughs> what have you done? Yeah. Sit on the step and count to 20. However, it goes back to the ship. Sure. So actually, you know, actually it is time for you guys to go back to the ship. You've already picked up a trading deal to go off to uh, the planet of Komarov. So uh, you, you actually, you know, you came here to pick up supplies before you Thank left. You and <laughs> you've probably done enough fucking around at this point to leave. Um... Yeah, so you guys can go back to the ship all if you want, or if there's anything else you want to do whilst you're on the station before you leave, uh, just let me know. Say, uh, I, I turn to uh, Rock and I say, you look like uh, you look like you're keen to make some money. You you you, you need a ship? We got a ship. You got a ship? Have you got we room got for a little one? <laughs> I mean, <laughs> oh, wow. <laughs> just whatever you do, don't hide in any of the little the little cupboards or the boxes, cause. Look me, yo, I'm huge. I've shaved today. Find him. <laughs> I will find him. <laughs> Rock Rocket is this six foot two. Um, she's got really long brown hair, and she's like a female Han Solo. Is she is she green? She's not green. No. Oh. 
She's not sorry to ruin it for you. She's no, not green. Only... <laughs> <Demo laughs> only green, green Average uh, green cybernetics one. are green, if that helps. <laughs> <laughs> Look, we, we got a contract. We got to go fly, do a trade mission. And uh, and we just stopped to pick up some supplies. You know how it is. Oh, I know how it is. Yeah, I know how it is. <laughs> she like, and I, uh, I, I turned, her backs as well. <laughs> I, I turned to the, the lady that I walked out of the tavern with who's not green. And I say, look, sweetie, uh, I'm sorry. <laughs> Based on the ship. I, it was fun. I got your number. But I'll you said we'd go to the Epsilon Delta system. Yeah, well, it's not on my route, and, uh... <laughs> Rocket kind of jumps in, and she goes, he's taking me now. Like, struts onto the ship. <laughs> this girl is... Ooh. I immediately walk in, and I start patrolling the ship. <laughs> <laughs> she's... She's oh, yeah. broken. Um, broken Rocket, you should know, uh, Blankton and Avrik have an agreement. Any stowaways found on the ship... Um, Avrik gets to perform surgery on. Okay, yeah, that sounds course. cool. And I just just yeah. survey the entire time. Just, just you'll find out. me everywhere and um, nowhere at the same time. The other present. The yeah. other thing is um, Avrik's role on the ship is kind of a engineer slash medic, um, and it's very often that she because you know her AI integration system isn't all there. Yeah. Um, she might be trying to heal you and accidentally. You know, you know, why your innards in some manner because she's got her um, her integration is on engineering. Nice. So you guys, so we, go ahead. Yeah, no, no, we, yeah. Uh, we get on the ship, we punch in some coordinates. Yep, oh yeah. Um, so it can take, uh, the, the journey over can basically take, um, I mean, pretty, between two weeks or like seven hours, depending on how much like fuel you burn, so you can kind of decide how quickly you want to get there. If it's going to be a long journey or a short one, um, but um, yeah. But as as you guys head off towards your ship, as a group, I actually stopped by uh, a couple of gentlemen, um, and they're wearing uh, formally dressed kind of suits um, and uh, kind of crisp but kind of bland looking. They look like. Uh, like civil servants, basically. They look like they they're, they're official, but they hate their lives, kind of kind of guys. Um, and uh, one of them uh, kind of introduces himself, and he says, uh, "Hello, uh, my name is uh, Sergeant, uh, sorry, Special Agent Pataki, and uh, this is my friend, Special Agent Hernandez. Uh, we have a few questions for you, if that's okay." I I ran, <laughs> I ran in the other time. I like I well actually I I really inconspicuously but it's the most in uh, conspicuous thing in the world. Try and sidestep and carry on my conversation. <laughs> yeah, okay. you, you said they they stopped um they stopped Gareth. Uh, they they just started grouping you. You know they just kind they of. Oh. Uh, I'm gonna hold out my report to come. I'm gonna be like, what sort of special are you? How special? Ah, oh, we uh, work for a few um, important people. We we're hoping, you know, maybe we could buy you a coffee or something. Are Sit you down. from the port? Are you from the uh, the docking board? Cause uh, I was gonna pay that fee, and uh, I don't, don't think they are for the fee. No, uh, but I think you should they look are into also that. thugs. Uh, listen, we were we understand that uh, you were. Uh, Involved in an altercation earlier on with a pair of young men and uh, a young woman. Could you tell us what happened? I don't recall. I am not sure uh, which young men you are uh, referring to. I visit many young men. I'll, I'll, I'll kind of back up at this point and be like, uh, I, I, I scared the men away and the woman didn't want anything to do with me. Story of my life. Ah. I never appreciate anything these women. Mm, the, there was Don't no fight. listen to this one. He lies on occasion. Are you literally playing a white knight? Are you? <laughs> he is. Because this is amazing. Oh my god. Okay. <laughs> Thank you. The, Sorry. Um, he uh, he says uh, we believe a man with cybernetic arm is believed to be involved in this. Uh, is is this him? And he shows you a hollow of of Wagner Chris. Hmm. This is a guy. He may have been there. A friend of I yours. I know what it once was. Maybe ah. you can refresh it. Uh, well, um, he kind of pulls a hollow back down. And he says, uh, "You don't know where we might find him." 
again, uh, my memory's a little rusty. You might have to uh, refresh it. Yeah. Uh, I whisper into your. Do you need me to rebuke you? Because you're not. Plug her out. Plug her and plug her back in again. You may need to uh, turn me on. Mate. <laughs> <laughs> I, I literally uh, I, I give it a retry and restart one of her memory checks. <laughs> you hear the Mac boot up sound. <laughs> no, it, 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 it's horizon shut down. Balls of death. It's uh, shut down. <sighs> All the memory chips were on. Uh, oh and yes, it's just shut it down. Oh yes, it's working. <laughs> you are turning yes. me on. I this am now operational. Again. My memory is complete. I'm a I little must stiff. Eradicate <laughs> the Daleks. <laughs> I must exterminate the Daleks. Good lord. So I must exterminate, <laughs> and it's just looping like that. Right, yeah. Right. Uh, are we? <laughs> I have a surprise for Log Day. Are we uh, done here? Can we get on our uh, ship? One last question. The the girl. Uh, uh, did you see where she went? I don't recall. Hmm. Oh, Come well. on, guys, no comment. Let's if you just... well, I just I wanted to know if you wanted if you found uh, Wagner Chris, please have him beam us. Uh, I'll send a satellite info over to a unit. We'd like to ask him a question, and if you see the woman again, uh, alert us immediately. She's a fugitive, considered dangerous. There's a hundred thousand Terran rewards for information leading to her arrest. So if you right, uh, what is the name of this person? This supposed person that there's a reward for. I must exterminate the Daleks. Yeah, we got it. We, we got that one. We don't have her name. Only what she looks like. And he kind of shows you a hologram of a very pretty looking woman with green eyes. Um, why, why would anyone uh, pay 100,000 herons for a woman? You, you could build one for half that price. I... Okay. Or, or you could find her and you could build two. Uh, you'll see. Uh, don't <laughs> go around. My eyes light up at this point. <laughs> <laughs> is she dangerous? Uh, considered hey, dangerous, he, yes. Here, how about this? I'll take that hologram, we'll call you if we find anything, and uh, I promise this is not going up on my wall. Uh, I, I mean, okay. look, we've got someone with a robot arm. Like, if, if that Wagner can do it, we, we can do it, no problem. Hmm. Very well. Well, thank you, my friend, for all the information, and do be in touch if you find this uh, fugitive. Thank you. And he, uh, he heads off. Uh, that was easy. Like, just get me in a room with us. You won't be able to resist my charms. Come on. Uh-huh. Uh, everyone on the ship, we got, a, we got a deal we don't want to be late for. You're right, and I uh, start patrolling. Yes. Avrik is... Um, Still walk, is now walking in circles, talking about exterminating Daleks until her men get I think on the ship. She's not on the ship. Oh, I patrolled to find her so I could fix the ship. <laughs> <laughs> and thank you to Yangida for following. Welcome to the events, my friend. You're a gentleman and a scholar. Only four followers away from a viewer decision, folks. Let's see if we can make it happen. Wow. So <laughs> nice. Four so retreats as well. Once we've dragged the malfunctioning medic back onto the ship. <laughs> yeah. Uh, <laughs> and close the doors. Uh, we're gonna the doors, yes. punch, we're gonna punch in some uh, some coordinates. Yep, and head on your way. Perfect. Uh, are and now... you uh, are you turning her memory chip back on? No. I'm yeah, sure yeah. I'll, I'll reboot you fully and, and do no, just just let, leave her walking in circles in the cargo <laughs> bay. It's fine. She needs, she needs a good defragging. I think she can patrol with me. <laughs> <laughs> Nerd smart is smart. You guys are the worst. This is great. <laughs> so... <laughs> All right, so I need to be different. Uh, so perfect. Um, as you guys, uh, yeah, uh, just head towards uh, the ship, and uh, you start to uh, get on board. Um, you guys, um, uh, you, there's like a knock on your door, basically. Um, uh, which is, you know, like, there's like a button which is pushed, and you guys see on the comm system, uh, that, uh, Wagner Chris is there with a couple of his cronies. These are the thugs from before? Oh, yeah, yeah. The ones I, uh, uh managed to this send time, away. This time, they look like they've got guns. 
Are uh, they on our ship? No, no, we're inside the ship, and they're yeah. just outside. They're knocking, I just, I, they're I knocking just politely on the door. I just retract the docking arm. Stowaways, guys. Are they stowaways? They no, are stowaways. No, Slowly just, starts to go up. Yeah, we're just watching on the screen as I, I retract the docking arm. Yeah. <laughs> uh, if they try to stow away, will I get to uh, operate on them? Yeah. Yeah. They can't stow away. We're now taking off from the docking <laughs> He, uh... I still say they're stowaways. <laughs> I, yeah. I say we cooperate on them. Good idea. We, we, remove... we remove uh, their most important parts. Yeah, no, we'll do that when we get back. Right now we have a job and it does not involve them. What is our job? I, uh, it's, look, it's in, yeah. this, it's in this hologram thing. Uh, it says we got to go to this system and trade some stuff. <laughs> So we don't have a job. Trade? No, we do. I just can't read this because it's in a language that I don't understand. But uh, well, right. how's it here? I'm good with languages. I have knowledge. <laughs> oh my god, who quoted that? <laughs> no, no it's they... just rocket has <laughs> the, the, the leaflet that you hold in. It's a hologram, not a leaflet. Yeah, it's well, a hologram. You know. Pamphlet, whatever. <laughs> <laughs> Average looking weird. They're not, uh, they're not evangelical it. Christians, Lee. Like, it's an e bite. Yeah. I am a proper Luddite. There we go. So, so, <laughs> so yeah, you, yeah, the drawbridge is being drawn up. Uh, <laughs> hashtag legs <laughs> closed. Uh, and Wagner's on the like the comms. He got crackles into the comms and he says, uh, uh, "Well." Uh, well, uh, this uh, this just means we're gonna have to go on our ship, aren't we? Fuck. And he uh, <laughs> don't, don't think you've outsmarted Wagner, Chris, this time. <laughs> and he, and he, as the, the 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 bridge is raised, he like him and his guys like yeah, and and start heading off towards their own ship, like ten meters away. Can uh, I sit at the airlock, give him the wave, and then turn it into the finger? <laughs> yeah, <what>? uh, <laughs> Does our ship have any uh, weapons on it? Uh, no, you're like a merchant training vessel, so you we, don't We're not going to shoot anything, we'll get... <laughs> well, they're going to probably attack us, I'd imagine. Why are you a okay. space murderer? It's only, it's only... <laughs> Why are you a space murderer? <laughs> <laughs> Why am I a space murderer? I have all of these implements, what do you think I need to do? Well, I that's mean, terrifying. I need to use fast. them. <laughs> Right. All right. So Do you want to go the knife? So what exactly is the job that we? Uh, yeah, that we literally, should... literally take. Uh, we have the tray. It's it's like the most boring shit on it. On, on like it's the most dull job for you guys. There's no action involved. It's pick up the goods. You've picked up the goods. Take them to the place. You're about to take them to the place. Uh, it, it's it's pretty simple basically. Very standard trade job. You know this is stuff that kind of you do on a day to day what did basis. I, say? I told you we have to go trade. What are the goods? Well, I mean, we could we could just go there and uh, like, start a shoot out there. <laughs> you to be very specific that we don't look in the crates. Yeah. That was uh, that was a term of the the deal, uh, and I turned to Rock and I say, uh, "How are you? How are your uh, your business negotiating skills? Because uh, we're gonna need to do some uh, a little bit of wheeling and dealing once we get to our destination." I want to go and look at the crates. Don't I do. I told you not to look at. I get a patrol. Do not look in the crates. I'm looking in the crates. What if they're stowaways? The... I get to operate on them. The cargo. Look. So you guys All are right. flying at this point as this conversation is yeah, happening. Yeah, no, we're, we're. I'm looking in yeah, the yeah, crates. Yeah. There's actual progression. Yeah, this yeah. is uh, you know rather yeah. somewhat actually hilarious because as you. Um, as you open up the crate, you see the girl inside. There's a stowaway. <laughs> Genuinely, oh, in this no. in this in this campaign, she stows away, and the first thing you guys said, <laughs> I, I check all I stowaways. Knew it. <laughs> I, I look to Blanton with this huge, what could only be grin on a robotic face, and like. It's a stowaway! I get to operate! Oh my god, come on, let's go! And I, 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 
Let me, we let start me, dragging her let me read towards the my operating table. Let me read this. She stowed away on a character ship because they seemed kind and righteous. <laughs> 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 oh my god. Perfect. Yeah. I love as it. They're, as they're dragging, as they're dragging this young... I'm I wasn't sorry. dragging, I was holding. I, yeah, we're, we're taking her to the operating room. I'm holding her very gently. I'm gonna say, alright, hold it. It's first. a stowaway. No. Captain, oh, Captain, yeah. Captain, Captain, I believe that I called dibs. No. It's just the hallway. <laughs> no, hold it one second. And then I'm going to look in the crate to make sure that there was actually other cargo in there and it wasn't just her. Uh, there, there is other cargo in there. She's uh, she's sitting amid, amidst packs of uh, space yogurt, spoggot, <laughs> that you guys are uh, transporting. Spill a spite. That I, uh, really great. Spawner. <laughs> I, uh, I, I say, uh, well, I mean, we still got the cargo, so. But now what? I mean, I, I, we one, operate on her. Lies in space, so I, I did see her first, and she stowed away. away. She stowed away. She's my property. She says, uh, please, please, please don't, please don't do, do anything to me. I just. I thought it would be safer here. Listen, listen sweetheart. You listen, stowed I, away. I, I know. Oh, the no stowaways. No, no. No, the rules, Scott. No I stowaways. I get the stowaways. Oh, no, I've got no. This, I've, got this I've got this handled. Okay, first of all, young young lady, you made the worst possible decision. This is <laughs> not a safe place. I don't know why you thought that. And you I'm made the bad people go everyone. away. You, you made those, those thugs that... Chris. Rocket's gonna intervene at this point, and oh. she's gonna hold a hand, and she's gonna say, "You're safe with me, kid." She's a stowaway. I hand her over to you. <laughs> no, I don't let her go. She's Get a your hands off a robot. She doesn't need this right now. She's a stowaway. I, I know she, no I stowaways. Shut the stowaways. Someone shut him down. Yeah. yeah. That is <laughs> all right. Look, I don't usually do this. But but you're gonna have no. It's it's uh, the captain's order right now. I we can't kill her because we might need her. Yeah, I wasn't she needs going to, stay to with me. Her. I wasn't I mean, going to I kill. She her. is I worth. Would, I, would, I would agree with them. She is worth a hundred thousand. We'll probably have. I was going to improve her. No no cut. I was going. No. I was going to improve her. No. I was going to. Yeah, we got it. No. I, I let go at this point, like looking really, really sad. I'm like, I was going to improve her. I was going to add with Ro Rocket's gonna like whisk away. Armor. We're gonna away into the battle somewhere. Yeah, yeah. yeah no, I'm I... just gonna go to like a quiet I'll, I'll take room. her, I'll go take her to her room. Uh, you yeah. talk in all how you guys do it, and I just sort of put an arm over Averick and we just walk away. <laughs> Uh, okay. I will. I will take the like. I will have Rocket and the go. We can go to the captain's quarters to talk. Sounds good. Nice. When we when we get there, I will close the door behind us. I say, all right. First of all, you need to tell me why your face is on this hologram. It's a very nice hologram. It captures you beautifully. But why is your face on the hologram? Ah, uh, I'm a hyper growth clone. Um, I I'm actually only two years old, and she looks to be like. 30? At that point, I'm at the window, I'm like, whoa! <laughs> <laughs> totally not your type, mate. Oh, boy. Should FBI, FBI, FBI. FBI. <laughs> um, yeah, so... Um, like a hyper clone? Like, do you have hyper superpowers or something? Um, I, I well, I have an accelerated lifespan um, uh, due to my growth. I, I, I was cloned... After a high-ranking diplomat, Amina Lambert, um, and I have an implant that has a lot of her memories, but I'm not her. My, my purpose was to take Councillor Lambert's place in high-risk situations and be a human shield in case of assassination attempts. I've been on the run ever since because I don't want to live someone else's life. I want to live my own life. Uh, well, you made a good decision on that because I know that I know that woman. She's a horrible politician. I did not vote for her, and honestly... She, she doesn't need a human shield. Are, are you saying you've got all, all her memories? Uh, some no. of them. Um, I mean, plus she is worth more than I think they're willing to pay. She's worth so much. If she has one secret in there, that that could be worth 
ten times that amount. I mean, this, if is, you... this seems this seems strikingly familiar. Have we done this before? Have we been on this mission before? <laughs> uh, I, I, I don't think so. All right. Here's the deal. Uh, Just let, let me look. Or we'll let the dock cut her head open. I'll get that chip and we can sell the information. No, 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 no. Stop, 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 stop. 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 Did yeah, no one think to offer the girl a drink? Or there, something there, to eat? There's whiskey over there. I don't give a shit. Is it is it drinkable? Is it yeah. drinkable? Do you want some whiskey? Are you actually two or are you more like... Uh, how... how are you, I mean, I'm... 30. Do you want some... Do you want some whiskey? Yeah, I, I'm, I'm. I mean, I'm legal. It's got accelerated growth. It means that I age much quicker. So whilst I may okay. only be two so human years, I'm actually around like thirty. Trying to the like mom, pour some whiskey turn around to get the drink. She dies. <laughs> she looks like she's got more wrinkles. <laughs> hey. She's gonna try find so <laughs> like a foil blanket and put I'd, it around her shoulders. I'd like well. a sherry, please. Um, <laughs> and thank you to Crimson Phoenix. Lays ten pounds and says, "Will's demands have been met." The ship's intruder alarm goes off as an alien life form suddenly appears somewhere on a ship. <laughs> it's a heavily armored level five Dalek in search for a stowaway and will exterminate everyone. Oh, exterminate the yeah. Daleks. This is my freaking job. I gotta and... kill the stowaway. <laughs> I get to. Uh, I right. get to operate on the stowaway. We'll get to that in a second, but first. Yeah. Uh, first, yeah. Okay. So as as she's like pouring whiskey down this clone's throat, I guess the ship just slams into like red alert mode, which is a hundred percent like Star Trek red alert. Everything bah, bah, bah. Is big neon lights that oh, yeah. don't need to be there. I was about to this say, is it is it Star Trek red alert? All, 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 all of you guys start to suddenly like whoa as the ship starts. <laughs> whoa. <laughs> Like I don't know why I installed that. It does nothing. But... <laughs> you just start to gibber and <laughs> somebody, somebody clip that and gif that for me. That is, <laughs> as you start to hear an exterminate. Like a bit I headbutt my own microphone. <laughs> <laughs> exterminate, exterminate, oh, the kill okay? the stowaway. <laughs> kill right, so... the stowaway. Kill the stowaway. As the as the ship slams into red alert. Uh, the captain will go, Dear God. <laughs> he doesn't have any weapons. That's what he always says. <laughs> I love that. The we, can't look... take, we, can't, we can't take any more of it. <laughs> the, the look upwards was perfect. <laughs> Dear God. <laughs> Just looking at nothing. <laughs> Dear <God. laughs> That can be so good. Alright, so um, somewhere within uh, the ship, there is a robot coming to kill her, and she's like, please help me, protect me, please. Don't let it kill me, I I'm worth more to you alive than I am dead. The rocket's gonna get in front of her. Also, Look my name- Come on, she's a treasure. My name is Renee. 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 Oh Do God. not Renee's on your promise. <laughs> uh, Ain't mm. nobody got time for that right now, Renee. Yeah. <laughs> Exterminate! <laughs> Exterminate! Uh, so he will, he will grab. I will grab the uh, the intercom and I will say like, uh, all crew, battle stations. Uh, that means everyone who owns a gun. I need you to go get your gun. Uh, we <laughs> get my gun. I get my gun in one hand and I get my. Uh, I don't know what could I use to operate on a Dalek. Have I, do I know of Daleks? Do I know of Daleks? I guess uh, a plunger, or a I roll knowledge. <laughs> uh, yeah. That's what they have, like, if you just, yeah, roll me, like, whisk their whisk. <laughs> roll me knowledge, yeah. Okay. Uh, nine. Uh, yeah. Know? You know Do that... I know... Mm. You know that... Do I know... Let me let me answer the question first, <laughs> and then let maybe you, the then you, then you might know. Um, <laughs> <laughs> so um, yes, uh, you know. Giving you a pause if you want to ask a question now. Uh, yeah, you, you know that these are sent by a uh, uh, a crimson uh, an alliance known as the Crimson Phoenix, uh, and they were created by this um, this organization uh, who bring chaos and destruction to all planets and worlds. Uh, and uh, they're set bent on destruction and extermination, uh, and probably they're looking to bring in the uh, the bounty uh, upon 
uh, Rene. And uh, weakness-wise, they're very, very strong. But if you could somehow find a way to hack inside of the uh, the creature, then you would be able to uh, to to break it. Yes. Okay. Do I have a hacking attachment for my cybernetic arm? <laughs> <laughs> uh, no, no, you don't. You'd have to upgrade that, unfortunately. Damn. Do I have some form of disruptor? Uh, no, a, I mean... A screwdriver of some basic, kind? No, unfortunately not. What you'd have to do is just, like, hack inside of it with an actual saw. Okay. I've got saws. That's fine. So I don't have a screwdriver. <laughs> uh, no, no, no sonic screwdriver. I'm, I was just asking for a screwdriver. I didn't say oh, a yeah, sonic screwdriver. you probably have a screwdriver, yeah. Yeah, so I have a screwdriver attachment that I can use as well as my saw. Nice. Okay, cool. So, cool. Uh, let's, throw so some, let's throw some initiative, first of all. <laughs> okay. <laughs> okay, so initiative. We've, we've, we've just come to the realization that Gareth looks like a Jewish <laughs> granddad right now. <laughs> oh, <laughs> that's, I'm that's gonna right now. Uh, I, uh, as a Jew, I do it. I give you full approval. <laughs> <laughs> No. <laughs> it's just... Listen to me, we'll, we'll talk, okay? <laughs> Dear God. The worst. Oh, God. You gotta get, gotta get me a cup of coffee. Hamster of Rat says he's going to screw the dialect. Oh, boy. Oh, boy. Uh, I got 11 for my initiative, Will. Uh, all right. I got 13. Ooh, oh, my. Interesting. I got a 20. Holy. Those exploding dice. Uh, whoa! I get... That's a ridiculous amount. Uh, so what you do for this, Lee, is you just roll your initiative. Oh, wow. Really? I do require the roll 20. <laughs> oh, shit, we haven't given you the roll 20? Oh, Two of them. Unless we're using the, um... Uh, I got it for one. Oh, Okay, thank you. Uh, what, yeah. happens, what happens if I get two critical <laughs> Oh shit! Uh, I don't need the first ones. Though. I don't need the first yeah. ones. I don't go at all. I actually find my found out I was a stowaway and I throw myself <laughs> off the ship. <laughs> I need to operate on you before you throw yourself off the ship. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> it's only your initiative, so like when you're getting yeah. ready, you trip yeah. and fall, or your shoelaces are done up, or exactly. So we've got Demerol going either. first, followed by Averick, the Dalek, Scott. And uh, Blankton going last. We're going to find out where Rocket goes in that order. So, uh, Rocket last. I'm famous for going last on initiative. Yeah. Yeah. And we'll get that in a second. So, it's kind of like coming down the corridor at this point. It's maybe like 20 feet away from you guys. And, uh, you know, Renee is uh, in line of sight as well. Um, so, you rolled a 14. Then. Nice. So, that's perfect, is she? So, um, Rocket is going after Demerol, who's going first. So, Demerol, your turn. Uh, I want to take my first action to say that I looked, back at, I looked at my character sheet and I saw the word comm systems, but I read corn systems. <laughs> <laughs> cool. So that's what, that's what his skill is now. It's corn systems. Nice. The complex um, irrigation and that's uh, farming systems and yeah. Uh, I, with, with small arms. I, I hate you, Gareth. <laughs> So do I. That's the worst. Thing. Was, hold on, I just I just got there. Uh, all right. Try and, so try and come back uh, again. It's hard. So the first thing in combat, I am of course again going to use my uh, going to use my perk to attempt to parlay because I have no. I don't think I have any weapons, uh, right. and I don't really. I I didn't buy any. Um, so he's just gonna be like, uh, he's gonna be he's gonna use his deception to parlay with this thing, and he's gonna be like. Look here, you stupid robot. You got the wrong ship. You're supposed to be on the Van Housen What's It ship over there. They're following us. Why did you pick this one? She's on the other ship. <laughs> All right, give me a parlay roll. A parlay! Uh, uh, just uh, your 3D. Well, I think this one's a better uh, dollar. Go. With the, the first one exploding, right? Yeah, absolutely. Right. Really? You're making the map look so cool, Will. I'm just looking at this Dalek stuff. Nice map. Uh, I rolled a 10 for that. Uh, a 10. Yeah, the Dalek says, Must exterminate all, especially this one. Especially this one. What, this one? That one. Oh. This one? <laughs> um, the one with the cybernetic arm? Yes, yes. Most of all, <laughs> the girl. Um, <laughs> you are a stowaway. 
You must be exterminated. Shut up. Right. Make right. sure to subscribe to account at Roleplay. <laughs> Hit follow if you haven't already. And don't forget to retreat. <laughs> retreat. Tell us what to do. Don't forget retreat. to retreat. Retreat. Let's retreat. Let's call retreat. Uh, so Please I don't watch us again. <laughs> So I have, a, I have a bunch of actions and I'm trying to figure out what I should do because um, I don't really have any weapons. I don't have a laser pistol or anything. Um, uh, can I just can I can I use one of my action? Can I use my action to just seal the door to the captain's quarters? Uh, so we'll say the captain's quarters on the map is like this bit up here, up the north. Uh, sure. Yeah. Can I point you haven't got a lazy, lazy lazy pistol a laser pistol because you were talking to women instead of it, shopping? It was worth oh, yeah. it. Your decision. Do you know? Do you know how like a, a little bit fabulous that sounded? <laughs> it's talking to women instead of shopping. Like <laughs> I was, I was buying my laser pistol. I can't believe you're talking to women instead of shopping. Oh my god! Oh my god! <laughs> like, why would you do that, girl? All, All right, right. So you want to seal the door? I'll grab. We'll grab Renee and go into the captain's quarters and just. Hit the you know seal the blast door. All right, cool. Hit the dag. Cool. Uh, this Hector oh drop. this can be Renee. She is described on roll twenty as bad girl. Mm. <laughs> and, and also apparently and then he, three times the size. And then here is dead bad girl. She's suddenly smaller. <laughs> oh roll twenty. The air has been. The air has uh, been. Yeah, she's so, she's grown a lot very quickly. Um, okay, cool. So, Should rocket. We drag tokens on. Uh, these tokens, one of them does represent each of you. Um, I this, don't have access to any of them. This yeah, one, this copy. one's gonna be Averick. This one's gonna be okay, cool. the Bruiser. This one will be an Engineer. So you should have access to some of them, I think. Yep. Uh, this one. I want be... the. I want the guy with the sword. Well. What well, this guy? No, the other one. This one, yes. I'm the sword. All right. So, uh, so Rocket, it is, uh, it's your turn here. You sounded like a Jewish dad. Good lord. <laughs> so, uh, so Lee, what you can do on your turn is you can take four basic actions rather than just one, but each additional action you do after the first becomes harder. So if you wanted to shoot four times, then, uh, it would get gradually harder to do so, because your weapon's kind of going, like, recoil out of control and stuff like that. So, okay. um... Oh, you know, you get more tired on your turn. So, what would you like to, um, what would you like to do? I would like to shoot twice. Okay, so. So that would be 2d6 plus one. Plus one, yeah. Yeah, okay. Sounds good. Hey, Nyx, how's it going? Nyx! <laughs> Long time no speak. All the love. Five. Oh, that's a critical fail as well. It is. I like shoot myself instead. Ah, <laughs> uh, yeah. I can't. I can't <laughs> do it. You, uh, you, you, your gun just starts to overheat, uh, and uh, you know it's like, and it's firing another one out, and you're like, if I fire another one, it might just like melt, uh, because it's got like a plasma yeah. core inside or something. Um, but that that used to happen to me on Halo, so I like drop the gun and like. Ah! <laughs> my, my hands burning. My ears. The, you know Halo wasn't real, right? Oh, really? Yeah. No. It, it's uh, a video game, I'm afraid. Lee's Halo certainly isn't real. Ooh. I don't know what that means. Ooh. Are you firing? Ooh. Do you need a burn heal? <laughs> so, that's, that's two dear damage, right? Yeah, now. I think that that oh, bird was worse yeah. than the uh, than the gun over here. Okay. Oh my god, that is sassy. Uh, you can fire shots on someone else's turn. Oh yeah, apparently so. Gosh. New feature of radiant gaming, guys. Go <laughs> <laughs> now. Um, all right. <laughs> so, um, it's real. So, Lee, it's real. Rocket, would you like to do anything else on your turn? No, she's too busy sort of nursing her, her burnt hand at the okay. moment. She's going to attempt to sort of and you go. Uh, yeah. move behind, behind everyone, I guess. Which one am I? That one. Yeah. Okay. Cool. So we'll go that way. There we go. Okay, cool. So that takes it to uh, Averick's turn. Okay. Um, the first thing 
I'm going to say is I'm going to try and shoot this with my laser rifle. So that's right. two, six, four, eight, four. That's not going to hit. Nope. Am I within range of running up to this thing? Uh, let us see. How far can you move? Your speed at sprint is 24. Um, so we've got far here on our map, the straw ruler. Uh, so you're 35 away, so you can't quite get there. Okay, um, what is this orange here? Is that cover? Yeah, that's cover, basically. It's okay, some, some of your I crates. Yeah. Can I move up behind the crates and then, like, popping out, take another shot? So, yeah, sounds good. Uh, so you can run. That's crit failure. Action two. Yeah, oh, a lot of crit fails here. So action yeah. two, you run up to take cover. Action three, you turn around and you fire. Um, and uh, you're again, the, you you fire off, and it just kind of like deflects back, pings off the Dalek, uh, and starts. You know, it goes up into the circuitry of something and breaks something that looked important on your ship. You know those things that when they break, you're like, what the fuck did that do? And but now it's broken. It's one of those things on the ship, and you've no idea what it was, but it looked like you know the the markings around it, very important, urgent, do not break. Uh, could have meant something important. Um, so that's what happens. Well, shit. Yeah, um, and it's the Daleks' turn to fight back, exterminate the idiot scam. Uh, and before, before that happens, can yeah. I yell out the window at him? That's coming out of your paycheck. <laughs> So, uh, the Dalek is saying, say, uh, I have no paycheck, uh, and... No, no, for, for Everett. I know. Oh, okay. I'm just sad that I don't have a paycheck. Uh, it's gonna fire at, um, actually it's gonna fire an, unex uh, an exposed chap here. Who's this guy here? Who's this fella? Someone. Is that me? I, I think that's me. Alright, let's just let's, let's show I... you. Let's just yeah, say it's me. Like... I don't mind taking a bullet. Alright, so he hits, and... What about Pyro? Uh, I gonna... think that was just some random guy. So just, just um, that's just Bob. The other three, uh, you've got Lee, Gareth, and then. Um, oh, you got too many tokens. In a line. Well, okay, so then yeah. who's me? All right, we'll, uh, we'll, 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 we'll so that's you, the soldier. There we go. That guy. All right, cool. We'll shoot the soldier yeah, okay. here. So okay. Blanketon. So a nine, nine damage. So whatever armor you have is soaked. Uh, you got like one armor, so eight. And now you roll your physique, uh, which is. Probably like 2D or something. Let's see, where's physique? It's in my abilities, right? Or no? Uh, yep. It? it should be. Uh, uh, where do you see it? Uh, physique is uh, under dexterity, under agility, and then physique. You see it on the soldier. It's 2D2 plus two. 2D2 plus two. Got you. Okay. 2D6, really, not 2D2. Sorry, yeah. It's 2D6 plus two. I, I, I yeah. We, I think we understand. Like, Oh, hey, okay, I love it. Uh, yeah, that's really good. So, yeah. um, let's see. You don't take any damage. Take no damage. No damage whatsoever. You just, like, suck it up as this death ray comes in to strike you. <laughs> yeah, I didn't feel anything. Uh, totally didn't feel anything. Oh. It is Scott's turn. Okay, so I've, I've got a kind of feeling that my laser pistol is not going to be that good against this thing so i'm going to run to the comms panel which is just beside me uh i'm going to start literally leaning in and pulling components out of that and bolting them onto my little tiny derringer uh, and trying to make this weapon look impressive and try and turn it into some kind of electronic disruptor or kind of emp ray or something right. like that so can i do an engineer role for that yeah Technology would be for upgrading weapons I've got here. If you got like uh, any, uh, techno I don't see a technology. Da, 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 da. Um, okay, got... yeah, use your search com systems, computers, mechanics, power it's... systems, security. Just use your mechanics on this one. Okay. <laughs> Uh, oh, that's a crit fail. I pull out a very important component. That, I think that's three rolls and three crit fails uh, from you guys. So you've, you've done pretty well. Yeah. Um, yeah. Aiming at this. It doesn't beat a DC, um, so feels bad, man. Um, and yeah, you, you pull out a, a pretty pretty critical component uh, of your gun. Uh, What's this? Life support. <laughs> don't need that. Um, basically. Or gravity. <laughs> Yeah, let's let's say it's the let's say it's the uh, the gravity like installation 
Uh, and uh, with Averick having destroyed so, like one part of it, you've just pulled out the other part of it. Uh, <laughs> yeah, I pull out the redundancies. <laughs> <laughs> and uh, yeah, you suddenly find yourself kind of like, Whoa, starting to float up. Can we all get some uh, Star Trek style anti gravity space to face? <laughs> Oh look! I've got, I'm wearing my I'm wearing my space shirt today just for such nice. an encounter. This is Lamar. Um, I'm actually upside down. <laughs> so anything else you'd like to do, Scott? Uh, I'll I'll give one more roll, uh, attempting to kind of fix what I've done. Can I do that? I imagine it might have a fairly high. It would be pretty difficult to do, but you could do it. I'll give it a go. How's a 13 for you? As 13 is is good for me. Um, nice. Yeah. yeah, so I imagine we all kind of bumped to the ground. I'll would, I would say that's my turn. Cool, yeah. You guys, yeah, come back down. Come back down to Earth and uh, start feeling much more yourselves. Uh, it is Blankton's turn at last. So, oh, gosh, I have a turn? You um, have a turn. Oh, gosh. You have yeah. a funny turn, a dizzy turn. Yeah, go go, go fund this game. That's that's what I want to use for all four of my actions, is to help people go, go fund this at where? Uh, Kickstarter, you can find a link here, exclamation point, star, ascension, get fund up there. I'm going to pledge at the end of this, uh, this evening as well. Awesome. Uh, that's exactly what I want to do with my turn, uh, is just tell people <laughs> to go on. Uh, I want to move here, is that possible? Uh, it is possible. Okay, cool. I'm going to stand by this link looking person. That, is that okay? Can yeah, I, yeah. Yeah. Okay. Uh, is, he, is he inside? Can I shoot him? Uh, let me see. Yeah, you can. You can get a shot at him there. Absolutely. Okay. Does it take an action to move, or it would, can I? Yeah. Use... yeah. Okay. So th I I take three shots. Nice. Yeah. Or does it take an action to use the cover? So do I do two no, shots and no, then take cover? You've got you've got the ability to move into cover yeah. as your one one action. I yeah. see. Okay. Yeah. Then that, that's what I will do. I will do three shots. First one. Uh, a nine. <laughs> Radiant Gaming Systems has told me to give you a, a focus point for spending your turn in such a such a manner. Um, I, I, I shall do that. Let's explain focus points at this point as well. So focus points double all die rolls in a single round when spent. Um, but you can only get one of those and it can't be combined with character points. So we're going to give you a focus point. So all your rolls in this round are doubled. Every single one, including damage. Um, so yeah, character points, either add a full die to your dice pool before you roll, or add one die, uh, sorry, add one total to the die total after you've rolled. So, um, if you want to change a roll afterwards, it adds a plus one. If you want to spend your character point before, you get an extra dice. But your focus point doubles all the rolls uh, on this turn, so uh, you actually rolled 18, which is a hit. I would hope. Uh, yeah. Okay, cool. So, and then I roll separately for damage. Mm. Mm -hmm. Do I do that three times because I'm shooting? Uh, that's the first first one is hit, then you have to roll for attack again. Okay, that's, I'm just double checking. Okay, yeah, no still, worries. Still 2d6. Absolutely. Uh, okay, cool, awesome. Uh, I do eight damage. Uh, and it's double because of your focus point. So 16. It's got an, 16. Armor of, an armor of three, so it goes down to 13, and it's going to roll its physique. 13 takes 4 damage, which is actually quite Ooh. a lot of damage. Um, and you see, nice. yeah, you see part of it just kind of like spark, uh, and it gets kind of like a huge dent in it from your uh, your rifle. Um, and it just kind of starts. Um, I'm a huge fan of your acting. <laughs> hey, you. Um, You've also got some extra attacks to roll, so if you want to keep yeah, going. Yeah, that's what I'm going to do. Absolutely. I'm going to keep shooting until I, I run out of turns, because that's what a good old soldier does. Keep shooting until no more. Nice. Uh, oh, my gosh. Okay, well, I guess no more shooting. Uh, that was a critical fail. Yeah. Um, Again. <laughs> yeah, um, so you... Uh, <laughs> He's really having some some bad luck on the crit fail today. So you fired like this awesome shot and hit it right... Right in the gonads, um, the Dalek gonads, <laughs> and uh, unfortunately, That's not a good image. Unfortunately, space nuts, nuts on a Dalek. Space really? Nuts. Oh yeah, I mean, I don't know if you of guys have, Daleks have space have nuts. Have studied. He's got loads of nuts and bolts. Exactly. Yeah. Hey. <laughs> hey. Scott, Scott's the man with the with the plan and the beard. 
And a bit, indeed. Um, okay, well then, uh, do I roll something to fix my gun? Uh, yeah, roll me, uh, mechanics. Mechanics? Okay, sure, no problem. And thank you to Total Dingus for following. Welcome to the event, my friend. You're a gentleman and a scholar, what a name. Welcome to the event. Okay, sure. <laughs> Oh, this. Uh, thank you. Uh, let's see, mechanic, right? Yeah, here we yeah. go. Let's let's try to find it. Let's see, mechanic, mechanic, mechanic. I don't really actually think uh, I have that. Let's see what you might could use instead. Uh, uh, I could use comm systems, which is sort of like yeah. working. As soon as you don't have a skill in it, you can just roll a one d six. Really? Okay. Uh, no, no complaints. It's just like, hmm. Let's see. Um. Uh, all right, let's see. Nice. <laughs> Roll a critical fail. Uh... <laughs> uh... Yeah, you try and fix your gun, and you break it entirely. Um... Oh, great. Okay, yeah. well... Um... You shoot that... your first gun with a second gun, uh, <laughs> and it doesn't seem to fix it. Mm. Uh, I'm just going to kind of uh, hold the gun close to me. Get into a field position in cover and just kind of like be scared of the Dalek. Nice. Okay, cool. So it is the top of the turn order for Demerel. I'm going to take a quick bio break here. Um, Ooh, and okay. if you guys uh, want to plug some Star Ascension shit, then I would uh, be most appreciative of it. I'll be back in under 60 seconds. Yeah, I'll, I'll jump off for a second, guys. This is actually a really cool system looking yeah, at. Uh, I'm going to do the same BRB. Yeah, no worries. That's, that's fine. Everyone, go and relieve yourself at the same time. Uh, I am. Right now. Uh, anyway, yeah, so this is. I'm going cool. to make a quick run and I will be back in a little bit. Okay. Anyone else want to leave while I'm talking? Sorry. Uh, it's, it's fine. I'm uh, still here. Yeah, just picking up this system is actually really, really fun. Like, we got the rules, like a quick edition of the rules, I think. Uh, a PDF, and we got a bunch of pre-gen character sheets. And the pre-gen character sheets, they don't really tie you down to anything. They give you some skills, which is the bit that I don't enjoy in role-playing, like numbers and coming up with those. I, I always find too much hard work. I, I much prefer having, here's a set of numbers that you use and then a character around that. And it seems really, really good for that. It doesn't tie you down to races. That I can see at the moment, uh, I'm sure there'll be um, maybe some changes there, but whatever. Uh, and it's really fun, like just chucking some dice around and anything with exploding dice, I absolutely adore. Cause like Brian just rolled a 20 uh, on, on 1d6 or something like that, which was absolutely crazy, which is amazing. You have these moments where they can chain on and chain on and chain on. So seriously, I'll put the link in chat again uh, and let these guys talk about what they think. But I really enjoy it. I think it's really good. And it's, it's not crazy amounts of money on Kickstarter, which some Kickstarters can be. This is really, really good. Good value, stick in a couple of bucks and you can play it, get another PDF to add. And like, even if you just gather them all together and take ideas from one or another, it seems to have some good ideas in you to use. I'll go right, right next. Uh, the only thing I will say is that uh, Radiant Game Systems, uh, we're going to have to discuss a, um, a royalty deal anytime <laughs> you your players use that term. <laughs> Sorry, right. what are you guys talking about? Exploding dice. Uh, oh, good. <laughs> all right. So it's yeah. Demerel's turn. There's a Dalek. It's, <coughs> it's all go, Demerel. What are you doing? You're locked in the uh, captain's quarters with this young, attractive lady who is actually two years old, but also 35. She's aged from 30 to 35 suddenly. So, uh, Askren, your turn. What are you doing? Uh, okay. Is there anything in the captain's quarter? Like, is there? A thing. Okay. No, it's completely barren. <laughs> no, no, no. no. Uh, I'm, I'm saying, is it like, okay? Can I can I do a thing where like I hit a button and it just activates like a fire suppression system or something? You could oh, uh, like, you could do the like, the sprinkler system will come on. I will do the. I will hit the sprinkler button. Nice. Um. So uh, sprinkles start going everywhere. Um. Cake sprinkles. Specifically, no. Uh, no. It, it begins to... Fuck, <laughs> it's the other sprinkles. <laughs> the wrong sprinkles, no! Um, <laughs> no one is what the celebration sprinkles. They were my I retirement sprinkles. sprinkles. <laughs> the retirement sprinkles. <laughs> I built two sprinkler systems into the, into this thing, into the ship. One for suppressing fires, the other if everyone on the ship has ice cream that needs yes. toppings. 
I would want to hang out on your ship every day. Yeah, I would, absolutely. So, um, yeah, you uh, you start the sprinkles, uh, sprinklers come on, rather, um, and uh, suddenly there's kind of water going everywhere, and the electric uh, circuits uh, of the Dalek are not reacting well to zags. But you probably spend your whole turn, like, turning it on, because it's, like, several it's sequences. It's really complicated to turn on, yeah. yeah. It's not, like, one of those quick, like, fire lever things no. that you just pull. Like, there's... There's a key. It, uh, have you ever played that game? Keep talking, and uh, nobody or, or and nobody dies. Solved? Yeah, it's literally it's that. It's just me like turning this thing over and solving puzzles. <laughs> <laughs> I like the idea uh, that the 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 sprinkle system is just a lever, but the the but the sprinkler system is a, a fifty-page manual uh, of how to turn it on. Yeah, um, turning I'm, off I'm is going to be. Going to the engineer, asking him if he remembers my password. <laughs> oh, what man. is your mother's maiden name? So, uh, Rocket, it's your turn. There's still a Dalek. Sprinklers are uh, on, and uh, but the sprinklers not also destroying the ship circuitry. I mean, it yeah. Enough. It's actually smart water. It's it's yeah. yeah. It's smart. It catches you red-handed if you try to nick things. So if you right. were to go up under like a, a UV light, you just glow red. You're glowing. <laughs> and I thank like you to Noxious Twenty Three J for following. Welcome to the adventure, my friend. You're a gentleman and a scholar, guys. We're just one follower away from a viewer decision now, where you guys get to decide anything which happens to our hapless adventurers here. So hit that follow button if you haven't already. Get a hundred free gold and screw these guys. <laughs> so Rocket, it's your <laughs> turn. What are you doing? You having a having a bad day? You had a bad day. You take a What's he got? The AI of the ship starts singing. Just to turn it around. Oh, God. I feel a different memory core. Starts singing along as well. What would happen if I shot at some of the wet circuits? Uh, It wouldn't, like... I'm just thinking, it, would, it wouldn't just like explode, would it? Sorry, no, I was, I was just having flashbacks to, to last night. Um, <laughs> oh, God. Yeah, uh, I mean, things things could blow up, possibly. Please don't. Yeah, I'm like. going to shoot at some circuits um, and hope that they explode. You guys really don't like my ship, do you? Well, I'm trying no. to get rid of a Dalek, you know? Yeah, but... It's collateral damage, Salad. It don't have to destroy it's my- It's a stowaway. I need to operate on it. I'm gonna kill it. I'm gonna kill it dead. All right, let me just get a- All right, give me some rolls. So it's, uh, I'm gonna shoot three times. Now I want some three. baked rolls, please. 3d6. Uh, the pirates did take out the Vikings last night. Yes, indeed. <laughs> <gasps> Two crits, yo. Two. And then crit fail. <laughs> well, you can only you can only get one. You can only get one. First dice, so this is one that yeah. counts. The one that matters counted. Yeah. So roll, roll that six as an exploding dice. Uh, yeah. You're gonna hit the wall with uh yeah. with this roll, however. How do I do an exploding dice? Just uh, look in the zoom chat. Copy yeah. and paste. Copy and paste. Make your make your one d six really excited. Yeah. Just like. <laughs> oh, I'm a d six. I'm a d six. Okay. Are you ready? Uh, yes. Oh, it's man. ticking. I'm so ready. Boom! Three. Bang! Okay. That was, pretty 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 that was actually very anticlimactic, wasn't it? Uh, it's yeah, so, so anticlimactic. Alright, it's it's a strong hit. So where, where about you firing? Which part of the wall is it? Like this wall are you firing on? Is it like this wall out here? What's going on? The, the so, I've, I've, uh, sorry, I will have moved around here as well. I've moved it this way. Okay. Um, I'm, I'm, I'm aiming for <laughs> the nearest the Dalek. Where the where the sprinklers are? You, I think you highlighted it before. Oh, okay, Should cool. Yeah. The red, with the red bit. Yeah, it's, it's better. Um, yeah. Let me just get my little. Yeah, about here. Yeah. All right, cool. So I'm going to shoot up there and hope that it something catches fire. Yeah. Let's see if it does. Uh, so you can roll damage on that one. Okay. Is the damage is. Uh, two... Probably 2d6. 2d6? Uh, I was thinking 2d6, yeah. Thank you. Yep. Yes, Crimson, take... Kill them all. Seven. Take them down. Seven. Uh, seven! Um, yeah. Mm. Uh, so... It doesn't have any, like, physique or anything. It, it's got no physique at all. It's got no posture, either. Um, <laughs> and, uh, you just, uh, kind of... 
uh, up this part of wall. Um, let me find some explosion. Oh yeah, I got explosion, yo. You got it. Oh, you you exploded everywhere. Um, yes. Mm, that did. that perfectly square explosion. <laughs> um, <laughs> <laughs> scary loud. Oh wow, that is so snug. Let's have Isn't a it? so snug. Let's have a let's have a rebel explosion. Um who drew tits on my Dalek? <laughs> we were talking earlier about rolling for breast size for uh D and D characters. Did you do that? I didn't Why bring was, it up. Who was talking about that? That was that was Zebra That was Zebra Jen. Zebra Jen. She said Zebra she Jen does it in chat. her games. And then another yeah. another girl in chat was like, Yeah, I do it all the time. We're like, what? <laughs> <laughs> we never thought that was even a. Me, me neither. We a weren't. Apparently, it's a thing. We weren't the like encouraging. The thing, though, in like their that. games, everyone has to roll. Yeah. Then, then they do that for like the high rollers. <laughs> in our, in our games, only Askren has to roll. <laughs> Askren has to roll for salad. Yeah. Also, uh, didn't they? Didn't Zebra roll for intimidation due to um, their breast size? Indeed, she did. Yeah, she rolled yeah. intimidation due to breast size, and I. Yeah. Struggle to understand why you'd ever be intimidated by large breasts. But <laughs> anyway, let's I move digress. On. <laughs> I digress. Let's move on. Let's move on from them to these. So, um you, you, <laughs> you blow it up and you see the Dalek just begin to like you get shoved by the impact, just kinda of shunted across the room to the other side and it's like uh covered in like black ash all this point, it's having a real bad day. Uh anything else you'd like to do, Rocket? Um, laugh maniacally. <laughs> Take that! Oh, she's gonna just like do a little dance. Oh, all right. It looks like a giant golden Dalek afro. <laughs> 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 I guess it does oh, if you like you, know, if you put it on its head like that. Can the intercom start singing some kind of like old funk uh, just to go with the afro, the golden afro? Oh, some okay. saxophone, some old uh, jazz. Play the like funky fun. music, yeah. white Dalek. Play the <laughs> Dalek. Music, Where's right? Captain Jack Harkness when you need him? We don't need Captain Jack Harkness. I'm about right, to operate on this thing. All right, I got smooth okay, jazz on. Uh, Average. Double check. Yeah, she no. hasn't blown yeah. a hole in the ship. Uh, not yet. However, the the, <laughs> the, uh, the tear here is beginning to kind of open up, and it looks like it's gonna need to be filled in. Pretty quick. Oh, God, Don't mind me. Averick! It's your. So, a uh, hole's uh, appeared! I'm gonna have to really? fill it up pretty quick, you realize, Averick. Um, so. Oh, God. Where is this Dalek? Where is this Dalek? Is it. Did you move it? Was it down it's, there? It's literally on the map. Are you it's, blind? Did man? it hit you? <laughs> <laughs> I it moved it. Dalek, so. I thought you pointed to him. There Do you go, see this it. big Dalek, Flaming Killer? <laughs> I thought you said it moved. I still can't freaking get to this Dalek. There was... Can I take two action actions to get up to it? Buddy, it was here, and now it's here, okay? <laughs> you got it. It moved back, right, okay. Uh, <laughs> but it moved! I can get to it. I can get to it. I'm you... going to run up to it. You will run to the ball. <laughs> I am going to operate on it. Okay. I am going to use my saw, and I am going to operate on it. All right, tell me how you to... do this. Well, what kind of operation a, are we talking about here? Is this a control or delete? Is this a... Uh... This is a stick the saw, ch the chainsaw type attachment of my mechanical arm in amongst its um, metal plating that was damaged and just tear out its electrical circuits. Alright, okay. I'm gonna go check on the captain and see if he's okay. So it, it's a um, rough um, in the field rewiring job. Nice. Is how she thinks. That's what she thinks she's doing. So, uh, what do I roll for this? Okay. Um. So, uh, in fact, yeah, actually, that's that's a good point. Getting sucked in the space, pretty quite a, a worry here. So, as you come up to like around this area to run into it, uh, can you roll me first off a just a physique? A physique, I certainly can. Yeah. Two, three, six, one, an eleven. Uh. Okay. Eleven is pretty good. You start getting kind of sucked into, um, sucked into this, like, hole which is appearing here, but then you manage to, uh, avoid its clutches. And thank you to Crimson Phoenix, who's nice ten pounds, that says, Oh my god, Dalek ex- This music. What, what is the Dalek about to do? 
God, that was loud. Uh, a crack of space and time comes behind the party, but quickly vanishes as a new Dalek appears. Level 5, the enemies of the Phoenix must be destroyed. Exterminate, exterminate, exterminate. Alright, give me the, um... Yeah, give me the, uh... The roll on that. You can roll me, like, a mechanics or something? I don't have mechanics. Okay. Could I use small... Is this... But this count as hand-to-hand? My, hand? my very small arms. Oh, uh, yeah, sure, yeah. Oh, small arms? Yeah, hand handled up. Okay, um, I would also like to... Um, for this, could I use my focus point? Uh, yes, you may. Which will double my dice, correct? So instead of 2d6, it'll be 4d6. Absolutely. Uh, no, actually, uh, I think it does it double the dice or does it double the number that you roll after? Let me read this again. I don't know. All die rolls, focus points double all die rolls in a single round. So instead of rolling 4d6, you roll 2d6 and double uh, okay. it. Okay. Yeah. Well, That's my reading of it anyway. Uh, so shall I be roll as 2d6? Just take your first two. Take my first two, one and a five. It's a six. It's a good fail. <laughs> so sad. Uh, also, the second arc is apparently behind the party. Yes. Oh, the behind so, the party. Oh, shit. Okay. Over here. Mm -mm -mm. Sorry, there we go. Uh, so that first one didn't work, so I'm going to try a Sorry, second uh, attempt. Sorry, an 18 is a flawed success, because uh, the dice are doubled, remember? So, uh, if you roll uh, a one... It wouldn't be an 18, it would be no? a 12. Oh, you're right, it's 46, you're right. Yeah. Yep, yep. No, not, a, not a success. Not a success. Oh, player's uh, choice, double dice or double zero. Okay, there you go. Interesting. Um, so, okay, so this is... Um, we're doubling the numbers, so I'm trying a second time on the same thing. Cool. Uh, so, a 12 again. <laughs> oh, yeah. 12. Uh, let me see. Yep. No, no luck on this one. Uh, you're trying um, to do a pretty difficult task. It's getting harder to do it. Yeah, I'm trying one more time. Uh, and that's Stay a alive. <laughs> that's a fourteen. Uh, yeah. Okay, fourteen. We'll give it to you. Fourteen. Okay. Let's see so you do something good. What do I roll in terms of damage for ripping out its? wiring with my chainsaw mechanical component. Okay. Uh let's <laughs> let's roll you let's roll two D six first one. Two D six. And uh ooh, does this double as well? Do you uh, focus? Yeah yeah yeah, yeah do yeah yeah. That's fourteen damage. Shit <laughs> Shit Um so, I literally got the best number and the worst number on the die. I the seven, and he's got this free armor, so he rolled... What's the total again? I forgot. Uh, 14. 14 minus 10, so it takes four, and you've ended this Dalek. Um, and it just begins to kind of... Okay. Um, so, for final action, could I take some of its metal plating and take it over to the hull to start repairing the hull? Sure. Cool. So Shit. that's what I'm going to do. I'm going to start like repairing this hole. You're walking towards the giant vacuum that is yeah. trying to suck you out into space. Though. I've got a metallic head. I don't exactly need to breathe. He's got some reason. I mean, you know? the, the sucking isn't so much a problem with the when it comes to breathing. I usually find. Yeah. So I, I'm kind when of it comes to in, when it comes to place in front of me as well, so that they go first, and then I can weld it so it's welds the tear closed. That seems like science. Okay, cool. Yeah. Uh, it's the Dalek's turn, uh, and the second Dalek appears here and says, uh, For the Crimson Order, I must kill you all. Exterminate. Brian is such a cool guy. I need to <laughs> kill for him. Uh, he and is the Crimsonist Phoenix. He is so crimson, very Phoenix. Much wow. Um... <laughs> It's Ladoge, Dalek! No. Uh, so, so, um, <laughs> bringing it back. So, uh, who's this one here? Who's this medic here? Uh, that, that's me. Alright, well, get fucked. Scott. Uh, 14, you're gonna get a hit, and it's gonna roll some damage on you. Uh, so, 11, and you... You're that's muted. a big number there. There you go. Uh, armor, and then roll your physique. Kill for him. <laughs> 
I got an eight. Uh, an eight, and then your armor assume is one, so you'll yeah. take two overall. Ouch. Yeah. Um, I, so I, I curse at this thing. I think it should be like a minor wound or something. I forgot on... Yeah. One, one to two is... One to two is you got one wound level, yeah. So you're... Yeah, taking a hit, but you're okay. Um, so it is going to take another attack. It's going to take a second one at you again for a 17. Christ, yeah, that, that 16 definitely... damage. Oh, boy. Oh. Got to get a good physique roll on here. I got another eight. Oh, buddy. Wait, am, am I allowed to spend... Uh, what kind of electronic dice are you rolling? I've done it already. No, that's fine. Uh, do you have any... I think you do start with some points. You do start yeah, with... Yeah, am I allowed to spend them after the roll, though? You're allowed to spend character points after roll. So here's the difference to character points. So if you want to add them before you roll, then you get an extra 1d6. If you want to use them after you roll, you get plus one to your total dice. Okay, uh, and you're only allowed to spend one at a time character points, am I? Uh, yes. Spend as... No, you can spend as many character points as you want at any given time. Okay, I'll spend two character points to take that to ten. All right, cool. So, uh, that means six damage, right? Yep. Yeah. Which is three That's wounds. three wounds. Three wounds that puts... Uh, yeah. All right. So, uh, you've got your sheet there where you can track how many wounds you're taking, basically. Um, all right, not looking too hot, not looking too hot. Uh, so that's the Dalek's turn, uh, and Scott, it's your turn. Uh, so I'm pretty badly hurt. I'm I'm kind of bleeding all over the place, yeah. and uh, I, I'm kind of desperately looking for a solution or anything like that. Um, I'm just gonna kind of reach it at this thing and try and look for a panel or something like that. Can I hunt for a panel on it to? Yeah. Pull open and try and do something on. Absolutely, you can search for its holes. Um, yeah, I'll search for a port. That's an eight. Ah, uh, you find a USB 2.0. Uh, oh god, this is so. It's slow. old tech. Uh, and what am I going to need? Uh, computer. Uh, I guess I've got to get past its security system first to be able to do anything. Uh, yes, you would. You, you can run me a okay. scary to try and break it. Yeah. And this this one, I'll use my focus point, so I get double this result. Uh, which cool. gets me a 24. Uh, 20. Get, get part Fuck, of yeah. Security. Doesn't it do it in an entire round? I believe the focus point. Uh, the focus point does an entire round, so all of your yeah. rolls are focused. Okay, uh, and then I will try and use my computer's roll to set it to self destruct. So nice. double this as no, well. No, change, change it to um, be on our side. How about no? Uh, that's 23. <laughs> um, <laughs> 23, like 23 fucking damage. Good lord. Uh, okay. Uh, it's going to roll. setting it to self-destruct for 20. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, so it's self-destruct. Oh, fuck it. It's going to roll. It's like anti, like the antibodies of it or something. Antivirus. So you roll. Oh, shit. Crit. Oh, shit. Crit. It did. So you rolled a 23, right? Yeah. Uh, 13 doubled. Uh, 26, sorry. 26, so it rolled yeah. a 20. So it's pretty close, but it didn't get there in the end. Uh, so you set it to self-destruct, and it's going to destruct next round. Self-destruct mode activated. In uh, I'll, I'll use five. my last action as a move oh. action. To, I guess I'm going to have to crawl, because I'm fairly injured at the moment. So I drag oh. myself along the metal grating. Nice. I'll, I'll drag myself to the door of the captain to see if he'll let me through. Captain, I'm, uh, uh, he, he got me in the gizzards. <laughs> and the door is sealed right now. Yeah, that's that's me kind of banging on the door. Help me. All right. That's the end of my turn. Plankton. It's your turn. You hear a there we go. Exterminate's there we go. about to blow up. Oh my God! It's oh gonna do boy. The most Oh gosh, <laughs> don't do it, man. It's not worth it. I have to. Uh, I mean, you know, it's not worth it. Nice if you didn't explode. The pay what? really okay. isn't good enough. Fuck uh, this shit. I, I mean, could I? <laughs> oh, gosh, I don't know what to do. Um, okay, I'm gonna do one action, or actually, that would be probably two. I'm gonna do two actions to drag uh, Scott 
uh, Scott's character in here. Nice. If that's possible. Yeah. Um, Let's just drag him in there. All right. And then I'm going to uh, go out myself. I'm going to uh, face the Dalek. And I'm going to try to sing it a little song to convince itself to override everything so it doesn't blow up and we don't all die. Good idea. Good idea. Uh, if, it, if you override everything, it's going to try and kill us again. <laughs> well, I mean, better fight it than have a big old sh hole in the ship for stowaways. We can fix the hole in the ship. We oh, well, can't... yeah, no, I don't. I think it looks like a pretty big Dalek. I we can repair it. it. We, we have we the technology. Repair it. <laughs> we have the tech, okay? I'm already fixing one hole in the ship. I mean, help me fix a second hole in the ship. There are I mean, only so many holes you can fill, Flaming Killer. <laughs> Take it from one who knows. I'm so... going to. <laughs> yep. I'm going to, I'm going to try to <laughs> sing a song to it so that way it doesn't. Um doesn't want to explode and try to override it with song. <laughs> Sneak preview for the Kickstarter. Bard. Apparently. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> um, Don't use a bard. I'm going to... Space bard. I'm going to... <laughs> Spard. I'm actually going to uh, sing in a song that I just typed up because I actually planned myself ahead. Uh, should I? Can I? Can I try to sing it to override it, or does that seem no? Uh, I mean, singing a song to override a Dalek didn't work for Doctor Who. Um, not okay. Do you, do you want me just to try to wire it? I mean, yeah, I you can like, try and rewire it if you want. I'm a soldier. I don't really have that great with mechanical skills. I think just like singing would be the equivalent of me trying to wire it. Gotcha. Uh, I, mean, uh, I only have one D6. Draw me. Draw me a D6. Okay, cool. Uh, you can tell by the way you uh, stroll. You are a Dalek, and no time to talk. Gotcha. Uh, five. <laughs> um, five. Pretty good. Pretty good. Uh, but actually awful. So. Um... Okay. I'm then for my last action. I'm gonna go back inside. <laughs> Gotcha, gotcha. Okay, cool. Um, da, 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 da. Worth a shot. It seems to be. Demerol, it's your turn. You're in the Sprinkle Factory. Um, with the lady. Sprinkle Factory yeah. Central. You are the Sprinkle Monster. Is there a secret airlock underneath this Dalek? No. No, <laughs> but... Damn it. Um, alright, I'm looking at my, uh, I'm, I'm looking at my thing. And okay, no, but I'm not very good at that. What thing are you looking at, Askren? I uh, I'm looking at my well. I mean, I, I'm also <laughs> looking at my feet. Uh, <laughs> right, right, right. It's just down here. Uh, um, no, I, I have I have horrible skill in starship operations, so I don't want to try that. Um, but I have a pretty good. I have a pretty good uh, skill in conceal. Okay. So I will try and can I try and conceal myself? Yeah, sure, <laughs> sure. Uh, I'm gonna try and I'm gonna try and conceal myself and also my hundred thousand credit uh, hyper clone, but like under under my captain's desk. My reinforced heavy metal captain's desk. Gotcha. I, I like it. Wrong here, conceal then. <laughs> <laughs> because again, I have no weapons. So, uh, I don't get the plus one on this. I got a 15. 15 is pretty good. No one sees you hide under your great metal <laughs> oh desk. My God. Uh, and you are fully, fully hidden at this point. Um,. <laughs> Yeah, no, uh, no luck for you there. Um, so, uh, and I guess if I have some other actions. So, um, I I'm gonna try and I'm gonna try and use my starship operation to like, uh, maybe maybe like, do I have like a remote start for my starship? Uh, yeah, you've got like a like it's the equivalent of having car keys that can it, yeah. go off. Yep. Yeah. Um, I don't know things. 
Car keys that can go off. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> that makes sense. I'm gonna use my I'm gonna use my remote start and uh, I'm gonna pop the trunk. Oh hello. And hopefully suck the Dalek out into space. Nice. Okay, uh, uh, aren't you also getting rid of me by doing that? It's fine, you can hold on to something. Um, <laughs> I'm gonna say uh, it happens. Uh, can you roll me a physique, Averick, to stay uh, within the uh, within the ship as... Basically, this hole here is like torn up into a much larger one. Can I uh, get advantage or something due to my... What's it? My mechanical arm. Uh, be strong. Yeah, sure. Uh, let's say that uh, you get an extra plus one for your mechanical arm this Yes! <laughs> I'm also going to spend, I think, a few of my uh, character points. Do you want to roll and use them beforehand, yeah? Yeah, so I'm adding Man. some dice. So I'm going to be uh, adding two, so I get 4d6 cool. plus two, because it's 2d6 plus one normally. Uh, an 11. And stay 11 in. to stay in the ship. What do we say, chat? Yay or nay? Yay! <laughs> thumbs up, thumbs down. We've got either a vote yay or a... What is it? Did they change that? Uh, vote... No, vote, vote yay. Yeah, vote yay. There we go. I fucked that up. There we go. Vote yay or vote nay. Does he stay <laughs> in the airlock? Does they he also not? just cheer. <laughs> yay. <laughs> Find out next time on Dragon Ball Z! <laughs> got a neg there, I've got a yay from Flaming Kill. I don't think that one counts, does it? Hmm. <laughs> I don't know, should, I don't know. If, if mine doesn't count, then uh, Panthers shouldn't count. No, I don't know about that. We balance each other out. Yeah, yin and yang. Uh, oh my, I, I've, I've got... got... The beard says it all, man. They're saying nay. <laughs> saying no, nay. That's a, that's a resounding no. That's a that's big... A no. That's a lot of no's right there, guys. A lot of... Wow. A lot of no's. Um, all right, then. So as you are sucked out of the, or uh, out of the uh, the air hole, um, just like a sea of nays. Yeah. I'm, I'm going to need to. It's uh, like we're doing the dance. It's like a horse. So much neighing. You so are I, on my way out. Yeah. Yeah. Um, that was the worst. I you could always. Ever make. Yeah. <laughs> I always keep spare parts, you know, dotted around the ship. On my way out, can I? Uh, grab spare parts and perform emergency surgery on myself to turn myself fully cybernetic and thus <laughs> not me there. I'm surviving space, oh just floating God. forever. If, if you can roll a hundred, <laughs> yeah. be like the space portal. Roll a d6 and see how many times it explodes. Space! Oh my God! Space! Ah! Space! <laughs> I perform emergency surgery to remove no. my body and replace it with a body. That is a four, unfortunately. That is a four. You do not, uh, and you are immediately sucked out into the vacuum of space and are floating away! Right, I am okay. floating away. I, I'm partially cybernetic, so it's going to be interesting. Yeah. I mean, mm. most of my body's died. My yeah. brain is yeah, alive. Is story over. <laughs> but, but does the Dalek get sucked out? Uh, does the Dalek? Yes. The That's Dalek... a different channel, Salad. Uh, I said sucked out. <laughs> <laughs> yes, indeed. Uh, the, it, the Dalek begins to get sucked in by the, the metallic pull of the magnets which you installed previously. Uh, and the strong, powerful magnets in the hole send the Dalek out to space where it combines uh, with the, uh, the semi-android uh, in a tight embrace. Come here, you. <laughs> Let us I'm, I'm, hold I'm each other. I'm going to start operating on it and uh, hold me. Its parts. I'm going to start taking its parts for myself. Then I'm just lonely. <laughs> Wait for yourself or yeah, now, for myself. Now I'm, I'm a just star taking its parts man. and making myself cybernetic using the Dalek that got sucked out. She, she wants the Dalek inside. <laughs> Call me a star man. <laughs> A what? Star man. <laughs> and star man? What's a star man? You be my major charm. It's, I'll it's be your ground control. How many D6 do I get for star man? I'm Dalek Bowie. <laughs> um, we'll... Would this be first day? Hold up there, Bowie. <laughs> and Bowie. Bowie's in space. <laughs> Is it cold out there, Bowie? 
Um, <laughs> well, I mean, Concourse like... fans, come on, back me up. Would, would this uh, be a first aid to use the Dalek um, to turn myself cybernetic? Uh, I mean, it's, it's just literally impossible. <laughs> I mean, like... give, give me a chance. All right, wrong. <laughs> what what <laughs> very straightforward <laughs> answer. Just embrace, Sorry? embrace the robot. Yeah, just... that's what I'm trying to do. I'm yeah. embracing the robot and turning myself fully robotic. Hold it and enjoy this last tender touch of someone yeah. in the world of nothingness. <laughs> That's not what Averick would do, though. Face could no we, like, is right there now. any chance that we could help get the get her back into the ship? Like mm. driving. The ship I mean, forward? you guys are like flying along at the speed of light. And yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, can we go back? I think we. Yeah. I think we left something back can there. A, can we take like an exit to go back on the highway to get the like, pickup? <laughs> I mean, as, as a man who is bleeding to death, uh, a doctor would have been rather handy right now. <laughs> well, <laughs> Look, I don't I, tell could I try to stabilize ship? him? Well. All right, you don't tell me how to run my ship. So <laughs> there's a hole in me. Can I do a, a, a hole? Let me fill it. <laughs> we, we all have holes. <laughs> um, Will, is there any way I can help uh, Scott's character, like do a medical thing? That that was yeah, yeah, what sure. I wanted to do, which would be first aid. Yeah, you're but, first, you're uh, I'm trying to first aid myself into a robot. I don't have any like first aid medical thing. Soldier doesn't really have that. Uh, you can roll me a d6 then. Well, uh, have you not got knowledge first aid? I don't. I don't have anything in knowledge. My knowledge is nothing. I have no knowledge. You oh, combat shit. medic. You could That's what you I mean, you could roll me a like a, a d6 and see if Do that it. works well. Do I it. mean, I feel okay. Well, sure. I it just feel okay. okay. I feel like I feel like Blanketon I'll... might give it a go. Uh, I rolled a six. A hey, six. it explodes. <laughs> Yay! Explode it. He explodes. I, I think you just pulled my liver out. <laughs> <laughs> no, no, it's okay. It's okay. It's okay. Roll, dust it off, put it back in, it's fine. Roll the D6 with Five the Five seconds rule, right? Five seconds rule. Yeah, roll again. Yeah. Okay. Should I roll again? Yeah, yeah, it yes. explodes. <laughs> okay. It explodes, it keeps going. Three. Alright, so a total of nine. So, nine. so you've like, yeah. you know, you've, you've begun to stabilize him a bit, but seeing as you're not, you know, trained in this whatsoever, no. uh, you're. No yeah, you're, he's, he's gonna live for a bit longer at the very least. You know? Okay. Am I dead? I mean, you're out in space with with Dalek Bowie. Not uh, dead. Yeah. Just can I can lonely. I use my first aid to take apart um, Dalek Bowie and make myself a robot? Sure. I have no knowledge in anything. Goodness. Neither do I. Somebody. I'm 100 percent charmed. Bring oh, me. Oh, that's a critical fail. I kill myself. <laughs> you... Could I look for like a first aid kit where you immediately was... implode? I had all of them. I had all the first aid. Yeah, I guess uh, as the captain, Demra, it's your your responsibility to place the medical kits, the first aid kits nearby. Where where would one be if there is indeed? I any? forgot to buy them because I was too busy buying <laughs> liquor for my mini bar. But he's I, dying, man. I, I can't. I, 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 I was like, someone. Get me explosion! I need <laughs> could I, um, Will? Could I perform CPR on him to see? I'm not dead no, yet. No, no, no. Did you say you, you, you wanted explosive? Because right. I can shoot the ceiling again if you really want. No, we, no. I, we, we lay him down there in is... the bed. His robot woman, and we just let it end. There's one more. There's one more thing. The emergency what? system, uh, in place, which you currently haven't activated, could, could save him. Is it the sprinkle system? It is the sprinkle system. I it is. slam that button as hard as I can and also get ice cream from my refrigerator. <laughs> Absolutely, yeah. This is kind of like the button push and you go into your mini freezer and just kind of pull it out. Um, and, uh, and Just before you press it, I shout, I'm allergic to sprinkles. <laughs> <laughs> it's either being allergic reaction or dying. You choose. One or the other. Uh, I, I, I slam that sprinkle. What, what if it's a uh, fatal allergic reaction, though? Yeah. Uh, so, what? how bad is your allergy, do you think, Scott? Uh, it turns me into a gremlins-esque monster. Nice. So, oh. the, the sprinkles begin to <laughs> rain down upon you. There's less of an allergy and more of a, like a curse. <laughs> there, there it is, isn't it? 
and you begin to begin to transform. Your body begins to turn into you know, your skin starts to crawl and change, and bumps for it appear, uh, and you become much smaller. You shrink down into a little gremlin size. Um, and Are you conscious? Every, he's currently <laughs> conscious during this, um, and uh, it's it's at this it's at this man uh, at this moment, sorry, that you um, you land at your destination, and you hear a <laughs> welcome into harbor. How can we be of service today? Oh my god! As <laughs> as, we, as we land, like where the 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 cargo bay kind of like lowers, and you see like. One person is a bleeding gremlin. Like whatever, people are injured, and we're all just and I'm just I just look and I say, another successful mission. You lost your only medic. <laughs> da 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 da. <laughs> boop boop. <laughs> uh, and the, the R Renee comes out and she's like, "What? What are, what are you going to do with me? Can, can I? Am I free to leave?" I mean, no. We uh -oh. need a minute. So we're just going to enslave her as an emetic? I mean, that that could work for me. I I, I want to live my own life. Okay, well, sure. I mean, not not in <laughs> less enslaved. Oh, that's one way of doing it. Okay. Not, not enslavement as such, just maybe employment. Full internship. Look, you stay on as the ship's medic. <laughs> it's a zero hours contract. You can, have, you can have one sixteenth of all of our loot. Oh, all right, yeah. Um, excuse me, fellas. <laughs> yes. The sixteenth for sending to your wounds, and you're about to die. I think she needs a little more than that, don't you? Fine. What seventeen? I mean, I'm not dying. <laughs> 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 what? Did, did you do maths? <laughs> My life. Is not... Well, I mean, how many uh, are there left of uh, us? Like, like you, me, Rocket, and Rena. Yeah, we only lost one person, it's fine. No, didn't we lose two? We lost Scott as well. Is, are you still alive, Scott? Yeah. Ah, no, I can go to Sorry, well, I, mean, I guess, all right. Is that a permanent thing? Look, he's our little mascot now. He's our <laughs> Okay, well, there's five of us. We could split <laughs> into eight. <laughs> into fifths. Okay. If she's, well, part I mean, of, if she's part of the team, then she's part of the team. We do the ship, the ship. Crew. Yeah, that's fine. Everyone just... on this team makes a 16th of the loot, except me. You're a sixteenth of the loop. Sixteenth. Lose your face. <laughs> it's a sick burn coming back to haunt you. <laughs> so, sick. so and that is and that is the start of a brand new television show. That's gonna what be is uh, what is the name? Of our team? It's gonna be called Firefly. <laughs> yeah. No, that's dumb. It's gonna be called <laughs> no. Cicada. <laughs> So as you guys uh, dock in and receive your your measly pay for your goods, uh, and you have Renee on board as your new medic after uh, the, the last one, Averig was flying out in space. But as we as the camera pans back into deep space, we see <laughs> we see a, a figure on horizon, Averig and a Dalek together embraced in a uh, in a moment of of passion just before oh. the two of them. <laughs> Death implode. Star just they just, just him playing. They just implode. Uh and <laughs> uh and uh then they are gone from this world. But there's one last uh, thing left over. It is the death ray antenna of the Dalek, but it's it's no longer a death ray, it's actually red like a rose and it's floating out in space. Oh my god. That's so sweet. Cue the fan <laughs> oh <my> <laughs> I and, totally ship that. Yeah. Oh yeah. Um, that, that's that's going to happen now. Yeah. I've and, never shipped anything, but I do think that, that flaming killer and a Dalek would be a beautiful. And at flaming the, killer and Dalek. <laughs> OTP. At the OTP. end of this episode of Star Ascension <laughs> Dalek Diplomacy, we hope that you guys in the chat enjoyed it today. If you did enjoy it, let us Yay. know in the chat. And perhaps more importantly, go check out Star Ascension on Kickstarter because it's a great. Gritty sci-fi game that we had a lot of fun playing with tonight. They're looking for free grand. They've already got one grand, so 33% of the way there. Sorry, 33% of the way there already. Um, and uh, yeah, I'm going to go and back now myself. So it's just you guys come along with me and do the same thing. Um, because it's we had, we had a great game. Um, so uh, 
what did you guys think of, first of all, players, I suppose? Uh, so let's go around. What did players think of the game, the system, did you have a good time? And where can we find you guys on the internet? So, um, let's start with Below Me, so Flamey Killer. So, um, thoughts on the session and uh, the system? Uh, we got so shafted by the dice holes, but my god, was that a fun session. I played one Star Ascension game previously. Yes, of uh, course, yeah. And that as well was really, really great fun. I've always had an amazing time playing this system and you really, really, really